And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. That Lewitsky is a genius at the board. That is Tool. So this must be The Bonfire? Question mark? Pop it. What? What did you say? Said that. No, pop it. What are they? Uh, Roman? Whatever you want, baby. Hey, silly. I'm still going to send it. Not that. Jacob, what is it? Bomb, bombers. Bombums. Bombums. <laughs> Bombums. Oh, yeah. oh, what a fucking douchebag. Yeah, they don't, yeah, so don't want to let me play with their ultimate stupid ball game. Who cares? <laughs> I got these wolf eyes. It's lit. <laughs> I have husky eyes, so I'll be fine. Um, it is the bonfire. We are live on a Tuesday. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Uh, what are they hot today? Dude, but is, here's my question to all of you. How many more of these do we have? Uh, two more, three more? What? Hot days in New York. No, a bunch more, I think. It's, it's August, dude. It's late August. It starts getting crisp October. Yeah. But, but I'm so, saying like a hot so day like today. Today is September. Fucking uh, so I still think probably five or six. You think five or six? Yeah. I'd go, I'd go under. Today blew. Today blew. Today blew. And I tell you what, cause I was batting around the idea. I had to do something earlier downtown, batting around the idea, yeah, <laughs> of uh, taking the city bike up. I'm very into bike culture now. All right, can I just tell you something that's happened to you in the past month that I love? Maybe the last day. The I last, think it's or the last couple of days, I should say. Well, it started a month ago when you got the city bike membership. Got city bike membership three days ago. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's all very new. So you just jumped in. I told you I was thinking about doing this because okay. we rented bikes in Montreal. That's what it was. And I very much enjoyed that. That was fun. We had a lot of fun. And that's a very hilly city. Yeah. So it sucks even more. New York's a, now New York's a much more busy city. Yeah, it's terrifying. Too terrifying for me to ride a bike. Can't do it at all? I, dude. Even if to get, I tell you even what? just to get over to where, to the, to the water. I told you about when I rocked the delivery driver. <laughs> Have I told that? No. On this, I don't believe so. That's never came up yet. I was taking a cab from the cellar to the stand, <laughs> and the guy went the fucking wrong way. And he, I told him to take, uh, he was supposed to go all the way to third and go up, just right to the stand. Uh -huh. But for some reason, he got on park and he started taking Park Avenue up. I'm like, dude, fucking go over. And he's like, you said 18th and park. You say 18th and park. I'm like, no, I said fucking 19th and third. And he's like, you say 18th and park. I'm like, man, fuck. You and I'm yelling at him. I'm I'm not going full Lewis on him, but I'm yelling at him as I still tip him. And How is your Uber rating better than me? I don't know because I tip, man. I always tip. I tip. I always leave. Are you saying I don't tip? You don't tip. I've seen your cab tips. They're not good. What are you talking about? You throw a dollar, two dollars, depending on wh from going from where to where. I don't know, but I, you don't hit the buttons. You don't hit the percentages. You do just straight. You just you do the math. I do uh, a dollar, like anything over like fifteen bucks, and I do two bucks or so. Yeah, see, over 15 bucks, I go three bucks. Why? I don't know, because it's 20%. It's not the, you know how cabs get paid? You know how it works? No, not at all. They, that's what I'm saying, it's all their money. Oh, okay. It's all, anything over, once it, once they make, call it $400 on the day, the rest of it's just their money. So, so tips don't really tips, matter. It's just paying more for your ride. This is something I'm learning, because I always go, I'm from the service industry, so I always go 20%, because I think that's... I tip... Heavy at restaurants. Yeah, no, I know that. I but a cab, I do a dollar or two dollars, depending on the thing. So I was tipping him as I was yelling, <laughs> and uh oh goddamn, I I went from it's the worst feeling in the world, angry to embarrassed. I was fucking angry, and I just quickly opened the fucking cab door and wham, hit a fucking delivery driver on a moped, <laughs> and the moped went under a car. He was an African dude, and he was angry. <laughs> at the only time I can't, that's why I can't believe I told the story because I remember him yelling at me and being like, "Well, I can do the voice, so I got to tell the story on the radio show." As he's yelling at me, but I felt so bad because he's like, "What you? Why do you not look?" And he just kept yelling that. He's like, "I don't know why you not look. You did not." Look, you always have to look. And I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck, I'm sorry. And the food, I like helped him grab the food. And I'm like, I helped the bike up and the bike, the basket on the front was broken. And I was like, ah, uh, shit. And I, I, I had to fight a lion to yeah. get my kids Do you education. understand? I was there. I had to kill a warlord to get over here. What <laughs> are you doing? And I felt fucking terrible. I, I, and I went and did a set at the stand, but I felt, I tried to talk about it on stage. It was not, it just didn't work. Hey but. guys, 
I almost killed an African. Yeah, well, I'm like, I just fucking clotheslined a delivery driver with a cab he door. Goes, I did not, they didn't laugh at all. Standing ovation, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they carried me out of the room. Thought that to be odd. <laughs> but it was one of those things, man, where I fucking rocked that dude. Like, I opened it and his, like, front tire hit it and he went to the side and it was, like, down under a car. Yeah. I- I'll tell you, a bit of a spoiler alert. On the movie uh, Annabelle, a little girl gets hit by a car pretty early in that movie. Yeah, pretty aggressively, and it really did. It just it just always takes me back to that when I hit a girl with the car and she rolled up on the <laughs> in front of your house. Not in front of my house. It was We're, like a few blocks from my house. Yeah, with the course. tiny handprints. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so eerie still to this day. It's just tiny. I don't know. I, I forget about it for years at a time. Then something happens. And I'm like, oh my god! Like, how have I ever? Forgot about the fact that I hit a girl with a car. Tiny handprints are the scariest thing in the world. So the scariest thing in the world is when if a little girl a... rolls up your uh, hood, and then somehow, just by the amount of rolls and the mathematics of it, she rolls and gets on the windshield, lands with her hands and face <laughs> screaming right at, right here, going ah! And I went, uh, and then I braked hard, so she rolled back off. And then she got up and looked at me, and then just st- and just stared there crying. What if you turned around and drove, and then she started walking fast after you, like the T one thousand? She terminated me. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Like, dun, 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 you are not dun, going dun. anywhere. You have hit my smallest daughter. Do, 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 do. do you understand? She is made of liquid metal. Do, 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 do. The Bollywood Terminator. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm from the future, come to kill you. I'm from the future, going to die. Are you okay there? Fuck you, asshole. You okay in there? Fuck you, asshole. Tiki tiki terminator, tiki tiki terminator. <laughs> Let me throw up. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, tiny handprints are the scariest shit in the world. If I had a baby and I was in a hotel, I would just put my baby's hand on the window, on the mirror of the uh, bathroom. So when it fogs up. And then write, that. and then write help. <laughs> Cause you know how bad, you know how bad that would, okay, you know. <laughs> that sounded like a baby elephant. I swear to you, you know what it is? Luke messed with my levels because it's my fault. So I don't I have no consistency with my mic thing. So yeah, I did pull it away. Like, that was just very loud. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he's washing himself. I'm fighting uh, allergies like a motherfucker. Um, really, but Lou too. You, you as well. I got allergies. Allergies. Oh yeah. I last back. two days. Last two days. It's, it's like I, it's a, but I'm not sick. Clearly, so it's just allergy shit. Right. But it feels like you might be sick almost. Okay, you're getting sick, but I'm not sick. I went to Colorado and uh, I got fucked real fucked up. I was, my eyes were itchy. Colorado was rough for me too, actually. I don't know what Actually, it is. Actually, very right. I went through that, that morning radio uh, run. I had like a real bad. Yeah, I, I had to take, uh, I was taking some Claritin every day. I, it happened when I moved to Arizona is when I started getting allergies when I went back to Colorado. Growing up there, never had allergies. I moved to Arizona where it's all dead and fucking dry. And then yeah. I came back and shit blew up. I I didn't have any of these problems as a child. No allergies? Real allergy? Allergy to anything? Nothing. Yeah, like uh, some penis, some like uh Antibiotic. I can't take this. Really? Like, erythromycin, I think it is. Oh, that sounds so fancy. Mm. Erythromycin. Yeah, I was lucky. I was one of those kids growing up. I'm like, I'm not allergic to anything. I don't have any allergies. Me either. No, I just did one day. You know what I was allergic to? I had a skin allergy to my own hair. When I got my hair cut, I'd break, <laughs> I'd break out on my it's neck. not an allergy. That's yeah, like, irritation. You you have a... That's your skin's like awful. Skin's being... Yeah. I have the same thing. I... It's so funny. I dry shave when I shave my, my neck or whatever. I, do a, I just do it dry. Wait, That's without it. water or water by the time I have to, I, I have water running because when I get the hair out of the razor, yeah. I run under water and, keep, and go back to it, but just water. You don't put fucking shaving cream at all? No, I probably should, but I don't have to because, it, and what happens is like my neck gets like, it gets like bumpy. Yeah. But for like a couple minutes, like almost like a reaction to something and then it just goes back. Oh. Yeah, because uh, it's clean. I did, Mine it, happens, I, I, I did it today. It's a good way to describe Oh, if I don't have shaving cream and then aftershave and put it on my neck, it will get fucked up. It'll be like red and bumpy all on my neck. Yeah? Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's me shaving my balls and, Becky, and not uh, letting Becky know I'm doing it. I shave my balls and I oftentimes wonder if, like, from different angles. Yeah. 
of looking at my balls and dick. Like, do I shave bad? Like, is it like this on the side of my dick? I had a lopsided shave last time. I'm certain I've got lopsided shave off. Do you ever get like, hot? Like, 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 like the like under one ball more than the other ball. I'll tell you if I get if I get. I see Louis J Gomez always has a little bit of hairs he missed on his neck. Fenoya, those guys that shave their heads. Like yeah, they always miss. You Lou, miss, do you, you have miss hairs there? when you shave your head? Yeah, well, because it gets irritated and you got to stop. Really? Yeah. Do you leave like a George Jefferson one day? <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I win the pick three, I don't. When, what, what do you mean the happy walk? No, I mean, can you? What would happen if can you, you go? Can you grow your hair just on the sides, like Captain Picard it for us? Oh yeah. Oh, like Larry David? Yeah. No. Sure. You I pick, mean, I you can, pick, but you pick the white bald guy. Yeah, I, I don't want to age myself twenty years. I, give us a cul-de-sac. I was Larry David for Halloween one year, and it was perfect. Really? I said a George. Yeah. I said a George Jefferson. Could you? Could you like put a lot of time into it and grow an Ern McCracken, where one side's super long and you could comb it over? Can you do it? What would it take for you to grow a big urn? Oh man, if you had a big Lou, <laughs> a big Lou McCracken, I, big Lou McCracken. Finally, I have enough money to buy my way out of anything. Do you know if you? Or or Stu has more hair. Yeah, that's my favorite haircut. I saw a guy on Halloween 2002 that did that. He grew his his hair was long, and then he fucking cut it in the middle, and he had the bigger and McCracken. It was not a wig. I, w- I was at a bar. I was blown away by it. And he had the ball with the rose with the uh, rosebud in it. Like he went full bigger and McCracken. And you have it in you to know that when you get over the initial thing of like, dude, that's fucking great. Look what this guy did. You're like. What a loser this guy is. I still thought it was cool. Nope. It's not though. Uh, he was said he was gonna cut his hair and he's like, so then I thought of this costume for Halloween and I, he's he said like, he's gonna cut his long hair. Yeah. He was gonna buzz his head. And he's like, might as well wait till Halloween and do it or him a Kraken. But bald? He was shaved so he could do that. He, he made it look exactly like Big Earns. Right. Like which is bald head. in parts. Yeah. He, like, I think he was gonna shave it. It was buzzed when I, he had it buzzed. He wasn't like. Did he have a good head for a shaved head? I don't That's know. To find out. I, I was pretty drunk and it was at a bar. That is the worst. Lou's lucky. He was a Tucson local. Lou lucks out. It's good to have a shaved head and also happen to look good with a shaved head. Man. Yeah, Lou, you look good with a shaved head. It's not an easy to pull off. Lewis, Lewis looks good with a shaved head. I buzzed my head. The only time I've ever buzzed it was in high school and I really regret it. Not good. I did it once early in comedy, wore a hat for like four months. Yep. Do you have a, I have a lumpy head. I just have a dumb, I think a fucking thumb. <laughs> with like hair on it. It's really it's like a bad look, yeah. It's not a good look for me at all. Jacob, do you have a good look with your head shaved? I mean, I never cut it too short. All right. I can answer. God, you, live such, you live such a rigid life, don't you? That's his worst nightmare, right, That's Jacob? Nightmare. Sometimes, sometimes I wake up. Going bald? <laughs> yeah, I'm losing it. No, you're not. Well, how old are you? You got a good tuft. 46. You're 46? You're fine. Oh, you oh, right I'm telling oh. you, I went in... When I went diving... My my nephews videotaped me, and, the hair was rolling and then off they of you? watched it afterward. <laughs> uh-huh. And it you was came like up you with could... less hair than you went down with. <laughs> <laughs> Wet, you could see the dive knot, the whole outline. And it was horrible, oh. and they were they were busting on me for mercilessly. They were busting your chops. Yeah. You go, stop it! I'm not supposed to get wet. <laughs> I can't yeah, get Uncle wet. Jacob, nice hair, dick bag. No, but I do hey, panic. Jacob. Hey, Uncle Jacob, let go. <laughs> <laughs> You're close enough, Uncle Jacob. Hey, Uncle Jake, I want you to live, and then I want you to ride a horse like a man, facing forward. <laughs> I was so scared. I got back. I was researching surgeries. And they're terrifying. Oh, dude. A guy I worked with at the restaurant got terrifying. He got the cheap version of the LeBron, and it looked real tough. Why don't you? There's a well, girl. I got there's the name a bald, of the best guy, but it's still horrific. There's a bald girl in World Star Hip Hop. They put a little net on her head and give her a whole head of hair. Why don't you just get a net on your head? And it's, called a black a two, pers- it's called a two pet. Have a black person weave the net in. No, they did it right there with this girl. Lou right. gave me three years. That's what he said I had. Lou, when did you start losing your hair? Lou's misery loves company. He was losing this in high school. I'm I not only a I bet Lou's in high school he was losing it. I'm not, oh, only a pre- I'm not only a president, I'm also the client. <laughs> I'm Cy Sperling, president of Hair Club for Men, with some new, important, free information for men with thinning hair. Also. Our own booklet. I like how fucking East Coast he is in this. Hey, do you need hair? Who doesn't need? I like that's from Lou's personal iPod. <laughs> yeah, Lou listens to this to go to sleep. <laughs> hey, buddy, there's a light at the end of that tunnel. Hey, and that tunnel is hair. Yeah. What if I told you there wasn't light, but a bunch of hair <laughs> <laughs> at the end of that tunnel? There was not light at all. Complete darkness because you're smothered in luxurious hair, <laughs> <laughs> thick hair like an Arab. <laughs> 
hair, bro. Like, I mean, a, like a Czech Republic old man's back. Yeah. We're talking hair. Italian grandmother thick. <laughs> hair. Hair. Hi. I'm Marty Cologne. From Marty Cologne's <laughs> store of hair. Do you want hair? Hair. Yeah. I grab all the hair from barber shops when they sweep it up. And I make <laughs> pillows of hair. I used to clean a, a fucking hair salon, and that's when I buzzed Why? my head. Because it was money. And I could do it whenever I wanted to. Did you get hit on by like the old like I leopard did. print like shirt ladies? No, no one. Hey, no. Danny. Oh, is your hey? Is your father coming by? I know. Was, t- tell your father. He goes last time I saw him. I bent over. Look at like his corduroy shorts. We get a little bit tight. If you know no, what I mean. Yeah, anyway, yeah, Danny. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can do that uh, all day long. <laughs> okay, Danny. Oh, by the way, Danny, was looking around at those people. Come here. Do you guys have my ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You gonna you gonna wake up early and play with you guys? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were not, no one was ever there when I cleaned it. That's why I did it like late night, and I would jerk off and fucking get high and not do stuff. Did you ever jerk off while wearing one of the dryer helmet things? <laughs> no, but I jerked off in the break room because I bought a VHS porn and they had a fucking. Uh, it was in my car and they had a TV VCR combo in the break room, nice. and I was like jackpot. That was a Taco Bell pizza hut of our time. It was, it was the the TV VCR was. Did you fucking jack? Big. And I'll tell you here, statute of limitations is up. You're fine. Cool. Did you ever jack like onto or into or on something on purpose, knowing that these ladies would be coming in the next day and have to deal with that? No, but one Did you ever, like, time lay a rope on a on a doorknob or a brush. No, but when I worked at the radio station in Tucson, I messed I titty fucked a girl in the morning show office. Because you titty fucked two three doors down CDs. Yeah, <laughs> just mushed them together. <laughs> I go, <laughs> you can call me Superman, <laughs> and I'm loving the Ah, I don't remember the lyrics, but I messed around with the girl, and I ended up coming on a coffee uh, mug. In on it or in it? Like, I when I came, like, the, the load shot over her boob onto the... She was, like, next to a, a desk, and it went on a coffee World's mug. World's greatest dad, Jay. <laughs> yeah. It was for a D, from a DJ's son to his dad. Yeah, he's like, you're the world's great. You're spinning the world's greatest hit. You're my favorite dad. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Pop. But I, I didn't, like, wash it. I just, like... Wiped it real quick with your hand. With like a, I grabbed like a, like a paper towel or something. That was very nice of you. Well, I felt bad because I was like, oh shit, I and I don't know whose mug it was. How far away was the mug? Just like neck. It was like if this was the mug, it mm-hmm. was like on the edge of the desk. It wasn't like I shot it across the room. It was like where right, was your pig at? Like right where this mic. Like it was all going down. It's pretty right high there. up in the air. Well, like I'm like I was like standing like that, uh-huh. and then it was like. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It wasn't crazy. Yeah, just a little Rogue One. Yeah, Rogue One. Yeah. Yeah. To the Rogue One squadron. <laughs> Only one survived. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of good people died that day. Yeah. But what was funny is my dick dripped and I was wearing khaki pants. But you, I, were, but you were able to go back to the competing station and bring them the plans for the Death Star. Yeah. <laughs> there I go. Help me, Wan- Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> You're our only hope. But I came back in the the DJ from the classic rock station. It uh, Mike, who was that guy who was like, what's up, everyone? He was the one that had the... Uh, hey, it's yeah. mandatory Metallica Mondays, and whoop, looks like there's a little bit of snail trail on my world's greatest dad, Jay Pug. <laughs> Anybody got anything about that? Fugle sang. He used to wear uh, jean shorts and Doc Martens, like high jean shorts above his knee and Doc Martens. And he was like, yeah, he was a really nice guy. But, man, he was cheesy. Oh, pretty sure, by the way, we'll say that... that uh Fugal saying, speaking of, uh, it is, it's, 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 the whole thing's a sabotage on our show at this point. I mean, trash every time we come in. Computers are locked computers up. Computers are shut down. Dan's computer's locked up. What's going on? Why do they hate us? Jacob, can you broke up his, uh, MTV Patient Zero out in the hallway every fucking day. <laughs> that's a real thing. Having a goddamn meeting. Yeah, that's a real thing. They're just having a meeting in the middle of the hallway. What the? Stupid allergies, boy. Killing me. 
Mm. <laughs> Hello. It's like the sound of, of Jay going through an allergy attack. Yeah, uh, I can't even, Dan. I can't even. It's when he gets the most Jewish. It's when I he's going through an allergy attack. He's going, ugh. I don't know if you, are you guys feeling, is it me? Is the room very allergenic? You know what? Maybe just a matzo ball soup and I'll go to bed early. I don't know. I, I don't want to be a burden. Oh, God. Can I have some locks and some bagel? I need something in my stomach. Like a smelt bagel. Oh. I mean, I don't want to make you run, but it's to my favorite place. Is very far away. Oh, but also, I, I feel like a schmuck. But I, I, I can't please up my dogs. I need to be a schmuck, but I can't really be a Now, oh, come here, Jay. Let me give you a little bit of a look at the baby. You want to take our first break? All right. Fine. Yeah, we got a bunch of fun stuff to talk about. I'm a cyclist now, so. Yeah, we got to get into this. We didn't even get into that. Not a new cycler? Yeah, your bicycle culture. I'm pretty in the bike culture now. Should we just do bike songs all day? Is there a thing? Well, I can think like, if I want to ride my bicycle, then yeah, I'm out. There's got to be like motorcycle songs. Uh, I'm sure. Let's try to find some. We'll figure it out. Fucking hey, It's bike songs right here. Bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. I want to ride my bicycle. 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 City bicycle. City bicycle. Um, yeah. My bike culture now. Get a helmet. What do you think? Yay. How much are you riding? You riding a lot? You should get a bike helmet. You think? Dude, I don't want to be doing a benefit for you. If you get fucking hit by a de- bread delivery truck, you're like Jay was, and then I got a, a list- very funny guy. Look at him, and I'll be like, <laughs> yeah. But I go like this, Jay, Jay, hey Jay. Yeah, I don't want to listen back to these episodes <laughs> while I'm crying with a bottle of whiskey. He was so full of life. I just had my earbuds in. My girlfriend's like, Dan, you got to come out of the bathroom. I'm just drinking a bottle of James and going, look at me, I should have got a helmet. So yes, please get it. I've only had one uh, bike incident where I got hurt or if at all, and it was Christine just cut me off with her bike one day. So it was, she she waited till you guys got bikes to turn on you? <laughs> Literally 100% her fault. <laughs> it was 100% her fault. What did you do? You just decided to cut him off? No, I was like rode up onto a curb and then I was coming back down and I just thought that I was going straight me. Was and going she straight. jumped in front of me with her bike, so I just and stopped on like, her. Around. And then she went, "Sorry, I didn't see you." By the way, yeah, she was gone. She was like, <laughs> I, was, "I was like, ow, 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 ow," and I fucking hurt my like inside of my leg, and she was just off. <laughs> I caught up with her like two minutes later. She's like, "Did it hurt?" Did you road? Did you road rash her and just give her a kick? That's right. Turn back around. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. I'm a bicycle guy now. We all know that. We all know how I'm living. I love you saying that as you blow your nose. I have such a, these allergies are brutal. I'm a bicycle guy now. Now so. that you know for everybody, oh, just they call me call me kickstand. Uh, uh, by the way, I, uh, I could ghost ride a bike and jump off and run. That used to be the most fun thing. But I've been when doing some kid. Oh, jumping off. Yeah, but when you would learn how to ghost it, when you pedal, and then you'd be like, and it goes, do it? and it go for a while without you. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, and then the fucking handlebars would get all bent, and you have to bend them again with your knee, put them in between your knee, and be like, oh, all right, there it is. Is. Fuck them out. Yeah, dude. It's so much easier having a bike than a car. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone would steal your bike, and then they'd paint it, and then you'd catch them at the park and have to get into a fight with them and their friends. That was always awkward. I wonder if someone bike and painted it ever. My bike was stolen once, and my dad made me fight him. Um, my friend's bike got stolen when we were smoking cigarettes in the bathroom at the park, and then the kid spray painted it, and we saw it. You knew it was his, though? Yeah. Did you get it back? Because of the pegs. <laughs> Did he get it back? Yeah. We fought the kid and took the bike back. Is it group? There was three of us. Yeah. We jumped in. <laughs> That's funny. He goes, he goes, no, it was three of us versus, um, he had one of him. <laughs> we just caught him on it. And we were like, hey, that's Scott's bike. And he's like, no, it's not. We're in eighth grade. We're like, that's Scott's bike. And he's like, no, it's not. And we're like, and Scott's like, those are my pegs. And then my friend Chris just fucking socked them. You think they are? Yeah, he just fucking hit them. And then everyone was like, hit them. Just, you like they're my pig now, F.A. Hey, F.A. It, it, it was his bike. It would have sucked if we would have got back. And you're like, that's not. But those pegs aren't mine. And you're like, fuck. It says too heavy from Madre. Yeah, we go. Oh boy. Oh no. Is that Jorge Medina's? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He hey, bike did look a lot like yours. You guys have similar taste in pegs, if I remember correctly. And then Scott's like, "What did you do? What did you 
<laughs> what did you do? We killed a man today. I fucking watched his lights go on. <laughs> fucking killed him. I watched the lights go out. Do I remember I told you? I have told that story on this show of when I, it was snowing one time and I was riding my bike home and that kid Nate that moved in my neighborhood from Las Vegas went to this kid Eric's house and beat his ass and was on his front door in front of his mom and I watched sitting on my bike. From the street, <laughs> he didn't know that story yet. Dude, he's What's walking it? down the street. Nice. And I was like, "I go, Nate, where are you going?" He's like, "I'm going to fuck up Eric." I don't want to say the kid's real last name, but he said his full name, and I was like, "Well, you're gonna go fight him?" He's, I was like, "Where?" He's like, "His house." And I was like, "Well, I'm gonna see this." And I used to be friends with Eric, so I went around and I like kind of knew the spot to watch. And he he no shit knocked on the door. The mom came to the door. He's like, "Is Eric home?" And then she left, and Eric walked, and he's like. That you heard like the cursing, like what the fuck, fuck, and then he was like, and then he just started fucking hitting him, and his mom was like, ah, ah, and, like separated him. He fucking tried to get some more shots in, and then ran. And I was just, and I had to like fucking wait there on my bike, because <laughs> I was like, oh god, ah oh, fuck, because if yeah. I took off, it would have. Uh, was- You're like, I gotta wait here because also I'm supposed to have dinner at Eric's house. <laughs> yeah. So I go up, I go, what happened? She goes, are you guys having stovetop? Yeah. Hey Eric, I heard you had <laughs> stovetop. I saw Nate. He said you're having stovetop. Uh, that's all he told me. Uh, hey, Dad, can Dad stay for dinner? Also, I'm bleeding out my eye. <laughs> I thought that was good. That was good, Marilyn Manson, Dad, for you. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Uh, Dad, do we have more stuff top for Dan? Uh, I just got, took a beating, but it wasn't too bad. Can he stay anyway? Uh, Dad sounds cool. All right, cool. You want to play video games? Uh, <laughs> My dad says right. can't play video games after yeah. ten. Sorry, we, I got it, but we can hang out for a little. It's pretty cool that he thought about it for so long, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> went, mm, uh, mm, yeah. Uh, so, are you gonna go full bike culture? Bike shorts, like a fast bike. Bike shorts, no. I mean, my underwear, essentially, bike shorts. Can, this can point, I tell right? you what's going to be? Are underwear at this point bike shorts? Yeah, pretty much. That's what bike shorts used to be, I thought. I'll tell you this. I know who's into bike culture, and I think it's going to bridge you two together. Jacob? Fieglesang. Is he? Yeah. Why do you know that? Because he has a bike helmet with him all the time. Oh, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> That's it the guy. Means- now he tucks his fucking... Gay ass pants into his fucking sock, I'm sure, and then rides a bike because it's you know better for the earth. Not me. I do because I'm gonna I'm gonna learn how to do tricks again. No, you're not. Oh yeah, I'll be over that handlebar in no time. You're gonna be you're gonna be BMXing. I'll be rad. I go rad. I go rad. If I walk up to the stand and I just see a fucking mongoose chained to a light pole, I'm all ah Jay's here. Yeah, Jay's here for the ten o'clock. Yeah, here's my problem with the city bikes, not full three sixty row. Yeah, it doesn't need a gyro gyro on it. I don't like that (laughs) shit. You gotta fucking chrome it out. Let's get you a GT. Yeah, you do some bunny hops. Yeah, I'll figure it all out. Dude, I can't wait. I can't wait for Jay to go full BMX. Oh, deep bike culture? Deep bike culture. Yeah. Like stunt bike I'm culture. riding on these city bikes like a, little, <laughs> like a little old lady, but I'll tell you what, boy, when I get my... I went the wrong way on a jump one time and just fucking face first into the dirt with my cousin, and he was like, he went the wrong way. <laughs> I, I never, like, ever completed a jump ever on a... I don't think I ever did bike. either. I went on so many dirt bike courses, and it was just like, if I went to a dirt bike course... But no, what are they called? Mountain bike. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We dirt bike. bikes when I was younger. Yeah, really. But they weren't motorized. So it was like you know, oh no, called dirt bikes. I've always known dirt bikes as motorized, like an engine, like a yeah, like well, John Connor shit. Well, these uh, no, it wasn't that. They were just dirt bikes, like BM- BMX bikes. Yeah, that's what they were. But uh, every time I went to a BMX like track, like a course that kids made. Yeah, where they made a bunch of like you know hills and ramps and all that shit. Like I was coming home covered in dirt. There was no way. I just I didn't land anything. I never made it to the other side of the ramp. She found a, a BMX trick fail compilation on YouTube. Yeah. Which is, uh, if there's anything better than yourself eating shit, it's watching others eat shit. That's the best. It is the best. Why don't you correct that bicycle? Or is there volume? Because I hope they have the wind knocked out of them noise. <gasps> hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, this is purely visual. But uh, we will tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram. I'm still going to Sunda. That's what I. That's what I want. I'm going to go over those handlebars, buddy. In the front, I'm going to let the bike spin around under me. Oh, oh, dude, I know. Ooh, that guy got up. Though. 
Yeah, that's the problem with all BMX tricks. For a second, you're like, you know what, though? But before he fucking ate shit, I mean, what? Yeah, like, oh, yeah there's always really a moment where you're like, you're like, oh, this guy's killing it. Yeah, he starts off like, whoa. Well, oh, not that guy. <gasps> oh, that's a Dan Soder move. I've I have not, seen that. being back in bike culture, I have not done that yet, and I'm still waiting. See, this is a dirt bike to me. It's got that engine. Uh, yeah, it is. I'm still waiting to do that. I'm still waiting to do the, um. It's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Oh, boy. He's going to the water. Why would he <laughs> stop in the middle? I don't know, but at the Bonfire SXM, if you want to see the bike fail compilation that we had. So you're not, you're going to go into bike, you're going full into bike culture. Have you ever seen the bike video, uh, Danny Smith teaches guitar? No. Dan Haskell? That sounds made up. Danny Caskill? Caskill, I think. It sounds like you're, you're telling me the friend's name of yours who gave you cigarettes. <laughs> he was so cool, Danny Casco. You go, I go, who's, always, I go, Jay, who, but whatever. Jay, whose cigarettes are these? You go, Danny Haskell, Danny Caskill. You don't know him. He goes to a different school. I want you to see his, like, trick thing. His trick video. No, I'll do this. Do a band of horses. Type in the band of horses or funeral. Type in Danny Danny McCaskill funeral. What if it's just his funeral? That would be such a bummer. That's not what I meant at all. You go, he passed away. It's still a Band of Horses song, but dude, it's one of the cool... I mean, you can't believe a human being can do these things on a bike. I just tell you that it has to be trick photography. Who was the guy that just recently died? Dave, uh... Fuck, people who know this BMX... Was bike. he the guy, though, that was every video game was him at one yeah, point? Yeah, Dave... Fuck, what was his name? Dave Mira. Good call, Dez. Did he just die? Yeah, Dave Mira died. Look that what? up. Peg related accident. <laughs> Killed himself. What? Oh, here, dude, this is. So Was it a choke jerk? Oh, okay. Dude, this is crazy. Oh, he shot himself. Oh, and Jesus. we'll put this out on the bonfire, too. But just, you know, some of the things this guy does. I mean, he he rides his bike on things you're like, well, this isn't fucking impossible. Can you make it full screen? Can I give him the voice? Can I give him the Xbox voice? Or the X Games voice? Sure. They show him mess up this one thing. It's a really cool video. They show him mess up this uh, riding along. A, an inch thick rail. They yes. show him mess up twice, I and they show him, then they show him sort of get it, and then he doesn't mess up. Some of the things he does, I'm telling you, he climbs buildings on a bike. I just kind of think of myself like parkour with a bike under him. It's, it's the bike is an extension of me. You know? <laughs> I mean, I feel like if I'm up on that fence, like the bike's up there with me, like we're all up there. Up oh, here I go, here I go. Remember when I ate shit? Well, guess what? It don't happen no more. Dude, this gets so, this gets so much more intense. Dude, he just went up a tree. Yeah, he climbs a tree. And I'm telling you, he starts doing things. He gets a, jumped a guardrail. That's impressive. I mean, like clean. He does and multiple, he did like a 180 behind it. He does multiple level shifting with stuff. He does. Yeah, it's it's. At one point, they show him overseas. He go. He jumps from one building to another building and down to the street on bike. Anytime I see that, whether it be skateboarding, fucking BMX bike, uh, rollerblades, anytime people can do crazy ass shit like that, I'm always like, I'm such a pussy. I would, I'm so afraid to fucking even try that. Well, that's the whole thing. Listen, we had this argument today, uh, the Kip Up conversation came up in Legion of Skanks, uh, yeah. pre record we're doing today. And I was telling them the same thing. It's like, it's a lot of it is just going for, the problem is the middle of these moves, the middle of these moves, man, like you'll, you'll stop. Like yeah. You stop yourself. You're like, this can't happen. There's one thing he does I just want you to see in particular. You can turn this up. He does something very specific in this. Look at this. That's awesome. Yeah, he's basically, he's he, jumping up, putting his back tire on stuff, and then and then jumping again. He's yeah. doing like multiple jumps in a jump. And he, like, oh, at one point he opens a fence or something with his fucking, this is nuts. Look at this crazy shit. And he goes, I just like to ride walls around. I jump from wall to wall. Parkour. Also, I want to thank my sponsors, Mongoose. I want to thank, uh, he goes off a bridge. Welch's Fruit Snacks. He jumps also, off a bridge with it. I want to thank Die Hard Batteries. I want to thank my fourth grade teacher. Look at this. That's fucking insane. He's jumping but, from wall to wall without really moving, just balancing. That's he's crazy. crazy. He's probably got fucking jacked quads. Oh, what'd be funny? He's like, that. Ah, exactly. Oh, what'd be funny? He's like, he's like, I'm actually, the thing is, I'm a very quick comer. Yeah. Because well, that's this weird other thing. He goes, I, Look at that. I have no, I mean, that's insane. I have no, yeah. This video is, this is what here is, I thought was one of the coolest things of all of it. Um, he, he bounces on one thing on three poles. But I'll, we'll put this up. I'm telling you, you'll watch this. If you're out there listening right now, you'll watch this. When it, when yeah, it it's fucking up. amazing. You'll get locked into it. I What's mean, his name? Danny McCaskill. Danny McCaskill, yeah. 
Dana Ma- M A C. Yeah, I used to just watch this. Like if I saw, I'm not in the BMX or anything, but this was just on one of those, like, you know, check this out sites one day. I would want to Google a bunch of BMX terms and then just yell it at the video. It's <laughs> I go, oh, no, is that a flip slide front fakie? <laughs> oh, that's just a fucking tire jammer. That's a rammer jammer. <laughs> rammer jammer. Oh, man, man you don't see dudes do that much. That guy just fucking nose grinded into a fucking tail whip, a it's tail lit. whale whip. Oh, look at that. That's a gator's nose. I, watch here. This is one thing I, I love this. Oh yeah, that's look. And like he would like dox the eye. Oh, dude, that's the fucking sign the contract. I used to do that over. What the fuck? He just did a one eighty. Yeah, this shows people coming to watch. Like this man is mystical. Where is this? Is this in UK? Looks like it's the he, UK. He, go, he goes all over. But yeah, I think a lot of it's UK. Do you think he has to check his bike, or does he have to go through security with it? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we can't let you on an airplane with your BMX bike. It's an extension of me. <laughs> you don't, oh, here we go. That's what I say. He's on building tops. Oh, man. But he misses that, and that video is way different. But watch him get down on the ground. When you're the friend, the guy, like, videoing, the guy that's doing the work, the camera work on this, it's so cool to capture it when he nails it, but it's such an inconvenience if he fucking breaks a leg, because then you're like... I'll go sit with you in the emergency room. Oh, so I guess we're not filming? Good, because <laughs> I've been charged this battery. It's been killing my charge. Oh, oh, cool. Your fourth disc is slipped? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Here's the big kind of closer. I mean, that's nuts, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You, know, you can I, go see Danny's new video at Red Bull. Oh, he is British. Dot co dot yeah. uk. Way but back. I think it's one of the coolest videos I've ever seen of somebody doing things where you're like, fucking impossible. Is that your, is he your idol? Is he your bike culture idol? Oh, as part of bike culture, yes. I was going to say, is it the person who I think is the great, like, internet's, like, holy shit most? No, that's always going to be those, are those Russians or Czech Republic guys that go out and do chin-ups on fucking cranes? I think uh, yeah. those videos make my leg I don't like goofy. it. Yeah, I don't like it. Again, it's unsettling. I actually yeah. have a problem watching them. Where they like, just get, walk, and they walk out, and they walk out a little confidently, like... He's doing other shit, they start doing like, like whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I'm just fucking with uh, you. Not, don't do that. It, it, not a real fear of heights when you watch Tank crush entire family when you're seven years old. Uh, Brandon in Ohio wants us to know that his friend does tricks like this. <laughs> it's a weird thing to call a show to tell. Oh, wow, my buddy it. does it. <laughs> What's his, does he have videos? Brandon, are you there? Yeah, I am. What's up, buddy? What part of Ohio are you in? I'm from Canton, Ohio. The nope. worst part. That's no. where Jay's from. I'm not from there. Well, I mean, my dad lives there. there. My dad lives there, and I yeah. went and I went to very briefly Crenshaw Junior High School in Canton, Ohio. Oh, and uh, I was I was gonna go to uh, I was gonna go to McKinley, which would have been cool, but uh, my stepmother hated me, sent me back to sent me back to my mom's house. Well, I wanted to leave, uh, but anyway, besides yeah, that, would... quaint little town, Mar- Marilyn Manson from Canton, Ohio, also. Fun yeah, fact, went, um, to, went to Glen Oaks High School. I went to Jackson High School, so I was a giant douchebag. <laughs> Is that a worse thing? Um, you said you have a friend yeah. who, who does uh, BMX tricks? Yeah, so my friend, um, actually, it's kind of a funny story. He was my friend when we did karate together. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> already his story starting where he goes, my friend does these badass tricks. Anyways, we were mercenaries together, but more freedom fighters. And basically it was like, have you seen Rambo 2? Those were my teenage years. <laughs> Saving POW. Yeah, so you guys did karate um, together? So we did karate together, and his mom would drop us off at, uh, or drop him off over at my house, and he would wait for my dad to come home from work so he could drive us to karate. And he used to pick up my pogo stick and start using it in the driveway. So he really got into it, and eventually started to make a job out of it. His name is Pogo Fred. Look it up. Pogo Fred? Pogo Fred. If I'm seeing some parkour shit with a pogo stick, I'm impressed with that. Oh, if you watch, if you watch some of it, he like lights his pogo stick on fire and everything. It's fucking oh, amazing. It's Hendrix. He's like the Mick Mars. Yeah. He's like Mick Mars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's like, he's also got a raging heroin problem. Pogo Fred is. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a big issue. Uh, pogo Fred. Oh, he has his own brand of pogos? And he's got multiple yeah. Guinness World Record holder. I'll tell you what. Yeah. I want a Pogo Fred pogo. I'll tell you this. I want to watch this video that Pogo Fred has. He's on Regis and Kelly. 
Oh, that's fun. They used the right. So on. wait, he had the record of back on Regis and Kelly. I want to know the record holder for Regis and or for Kelly and Ryan. Oh, true. That's updated shit. Yeah, I'll even take a Kelly and Michael. No, not me. Oh, just can you imagine Michael Strahan boring commenting on a fucking <laughs> a pogo video? I don't get it. There he is, up, down. Now what? This is stupid. I get so much air through this gap in my teeth. Yeah, I don't fucking you know the fucking things real fucking thing of this video. Yeah, in the past, I was putting out candles. Kelly, I was putting out candles. Stupid white bitch. Michael, Taking up all my free I'm Michael time. Stray, I'm Michael Strahan. I stay putting out candles. <laughs> <laughs> Every time a candle comes near, it's like a I stack Brett Favre. <laughs> your friends, are, goes Brandon, your friends in great shape. Yeah, dude, what a fucking core on that kid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you watch his fail videos, I think they're on YouTube. They're absolutely fucking hilarious. He'll fall from like six feet up in the air. Dude, like, yeah, he, I'm good. I'm good. He does yeah. fucking crazy ass flips. I'm not gonna lie. And and uh, Ooh. Brandon, when you called in, I was like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" And now that I know that you're somehow related to Pogo Fred, I just want to apologize because your friend does a lot of fucking great flips. And well, I, I'll be honest. I said this, Brandon, two weeks ago on the show. Any friend of Pogo Fred's is a friend of mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pogo Fred highlights. Let's find some Pogo Fred fails. Yeah, we gotta find the fails. at the bonfire SXM. We're gonna put him out. Um, Pogo Fred, obviously, Canton, the pride of Canton, Ohio. After Marilyn oh, Manson. Yeah. Uh, you have a huge piece. Jackson High grad, right? Did I call that, Brandon? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Not like Jay's dumb almost school. Ha <laughs> right? McKinley? <laughs> fuck those guys. I didn't fuck go the there. Pa- yeah, well, fuck the Panthers. McKinley's the big deal school there because it's the Hall of Fame game. That's oh, right. that's the Hall of Fame. That's their it's field? The Hall of Fame. It's their field, yeah. Oh, shit. That's, oh, God Ooh. damn it. Dude, when you eat Pogo it on a... Fred. Yeah, on a Pogo thing, that's it. a whole new level of eating <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's like, it's like wiping out with only the worst part of the bike. <laughs> yeah, just a tire. You might as well be a unicycler at that point. Oh! oh. oh. Miscued it. <laughs> oh, he goes, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> right here. Oh, Coming in hot. Oh. Ah, uh, we got too greedy. <laughs> um, see if you can find unicycle fails, because I wouldn't mind watching that right oh now. Oh, my God. Just... All I want to watch is unicycle fails right now. <laughs> well, thanks for calling in, Brandon. And please tell Pogo yeah. Fred that we are big fans now, that we know who he is. Will do. Will do. All right, Thank guys, you, brother. Bye. Take care, Brandon. Unicycle fails. Unicycle fails are uh, definitely a thing, because... That was a thing for a little bit in Williamsburg. You'd see a lot of unicycles. I still see it. You still see it? And there's, I haven't a, seen and it there's in a while. those little electronic ones now, the electronic unicycle store where you stand. It's like the one wheel between your feet. Dude, my, uh, my, my, oh shit. That guy just ate his dick on a log. It looks terrifying. Here it is. Oh! These are all nut shots at the, of course, at the bonfire. Oh, what else is going to happen on the unicycle? It's only set up for one failure. Nut shot. It's just the, but they're trying to do tricks. Yeah. I think you need two tires for any I'm trick. T- I'm too terrified to ride a bike in the city, let alone a unicycle. Uh, oh, really? The city's your gripe on whether or not you're going to ride a unicycle or not? I feel like if I was on a mountain road, I'd try to ride a unicycle. Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to send it. Oh, oh yeah. you send it? <laughs> it's going to send it. You guys silly? I'm still going to send it. <laughs> oh. but it's so funny. He goes, goes now, nah, I'm not going to try to ride a unicycle. The traffic here... <laughs> like that's not the reason I'm not riding a unicycle. No, I'm not gonna say. I, mean, I would I would try to ride a unicycle if we were at someone's house and they had one. Like you want to try to ride it, but I don't think like, would you. Yeah, why not? See if you could do it. You, you can. You like can I fucking bro- that's you hilarious. can sort of do it. You can probably do it. Now that I'm thinking about, it, I feel like it's a kip up. I can just do it if I believe. I don't. Yeah, I think it's much harder than that. And we do. Oh no, we're probably gonna. Yeah, we probably eat shit on it. You fall on a yeah. What's worse, falling on a unicycle or a pogo stick? Because a pogo stick becomes almost like a spear that's in the air with you. I tell you what. Here's oh! what. Here's what. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, here's okay. what, here's eight, what I'll say a pogo okay, stick. Eight a stair. Oh, you know, maybe the, maybe maybe the unicycle is worse. Because I feel like the pogo stick, you feel like you can bail on the whole thing, and uh on the pogo stick. On a unicycle, you feel this weird... I feel like you have insti- instincts to kind of keep your feet on the... Pe- like, yeah. You'll eat worse shit on that because you won't be like, I'm going to bail on this whole thing. Yeah, kick you're out just kinda like, Yeah, it's like, it's like you're like, you don't even know which way it's going when you do decide to bail. So you're just basically... You, Jesus! Me. It's okay, Jay. Jay, we're going to work through this. Hey, I'm here for you, buddy. Oh... 
Can you look up pogo stick fails, Christine? Oh, because this is just. These guys are trying tricks on fucking unicycles. I need a hero. <laughs> I'll be your hero. What's your name from where you're from? <laughs> Forgot all that. I have no idea what her name is. No. What was her name? Oh. I need oh, it's a Pog- hero. <laughs> oh, Pogo Fred, by the way, leads off the... Oh, What are those things? That's, those aren't pogo sticks. The things you put on your feet and you can jump where you look like Pastorus. Pogo feet. What are they called? Can we get some of those? Are they not called pogo feet? I would try those. I would try those in a fucking heartbeat. If those were a thing, I'd get, you say no. You wouldn't try it, Des? Why? Our fan does in the studio. No? Why can't we say our friend? Friend? Oh, a well, friend and fan? Because I don't know. <laughs> There's a classic crunch that uses right. those. There's what? A classic crunch that uses those. It's called Boeing. Those like moon, those pogo boots. Are they called moon boots? I uh, maybe. I don't. But they look like that with the. Can we the order them? I think so. Yeah. Who would who'd be down to try it in this room? I'll, pug, I'll pogo boot around with you. Jacob, will you? Will you? No. You would never try it. You know so you're gonna, on Dez's team. You, you would never gonna, try You know it's going to really suck dick there when I put him on and I stand up and I'm just too heavy for him. I just, they're just regular <laughs> shoes. <laughs> just, you're just walking around like you're in fucking boots with mud in them? You're yeah. Like, ah. like, no. Yeah, it's like, it's like I get that little jolt when I lift my leg off the ground of like where the, the thing goes, go, oh, thank God. I'm going to go, oh, God. <laughs> Oh jeez, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking end up ripping my ACL because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fucking goofy on it like a baby deer. Ninety five percent of what we're watching are ball hits. They're all crotch. Yeah, but you're not gonna get these in the moon boots. What are they called? By the way, that's oh, not what I'm I talking tried. about. Those are easy. I'm talking about the fucking real deal one where you yeah, get the yeah, Pastorus yeah. legs. Yeah. That's what you're talking about, right? That, you wouldn't do that. No, yeah, those one, those are ridiculous. I would, that's, for, that's for girl classes. Yeah. I want to see the big, dangerous, scary ones. Yeah, I want the sharp ones. What's going to solidify that me or Dan or both hurt ourselves in here? Yeah, but then we get to cool, do the cool if you get a good bounce going. By the way, easily how you pop a hip out. There they are. Yeah. Air Trekker jumping stilts. Yes, those terrifying things. Yeah, I would definitely... How much are they? Oh, 260? Get five pair. Two, they're 260 bucks? Yeah. Does Comedy Central give us the credit card? Of course they do. Yeah, oh, dude. wait a second. Here's a problem. Well, never saw this problem coming up. It's got a max weight, 240. Fucking cop sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that out. I don't see the video now. They look so fun. Oh, look at all the things I'd be doing. Front flips if I was 240 pounds. Dude, look at that guy's abs. None of us are doing those flips. That guy's fucking jacked. Dan, just so you know, I would do that immediately. First of all, that he, guy he, looks like Mark Wahlberg from oh fucking God. 91. It's like, it's like a real life Gears of War guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. I could, none of us could do that. I would. I could totally do it, but that they have weight limits. That guy's fucking jacked, and he's so just... exactly what I said would happen. I'd put him on, and you'd be <laughs> fucking doing, uh, you'd be doing Bruce Lee flips uh, up into the rafters, and I'd be just the guy next to you going. You just be yelling at Christine. I go, I think get him off. I just be, get get him off. I go, get him off. They're fucking broke. No, because they always they send me the broke ones. So watch out! Look, I gotta send me the broke ones. I gotta sit down. I'm gonna sit down. Watch out. Dave in oh. Colorado says we have to look up trial riding. Then that's the thing to look up. Tri- What's trial riding? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm so bummed we can't Is it do trial it. or trail? trail? Trial. Trial? He said trial running? Riding. But Dave. Let's talk to Dave in Colorado. Yeah, what's, what, up, what's up, guys? What's up, my friend? Uh, what's what's trial that's riding? Haskell, man. That guy is fucking amazing on that bicycle, isn't he? Yeah, pretty nuts. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, up? So they, they, they call that trials riding, and they do that shit with uh, motorcycles that are special built just for trials riding. You gotta through YouTube and shit. You gotta check out uh, like that kind of trick shit. Bang! Got it. That trials riding on YouTube. Yeah, we're looking at legend yeah. Dougie Dougie Lampkin. Do you know Dougie Lampkin? Dougie's all right. Look at Tony Boo. Tony Boo? I fucking love these names. Tony Boo? Oh, Tony Boo. He's he's a world champion. He's been world champion for like 10 years. Nobody can touch him. Yeah, check that shit out. You'll be amazed with what he does. Go to Tony Boo. Here he is. Yeah, to me, these guys can climb walls. Yeah, with bikes. Joining the show, uh, friend of the show... From Saturday Night Live, Michael Che. Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, we're watching, uh, first we were watching people on pogo sticks, then unicycles, and then now, uh, dirt bikes do tricks. And as Desmond will tell you from a simple look, this is just some crazy white boy shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is just some straight up crazy Desmond, white boy. Desmond, pogo, pogo Desmond's stick given that look at least five times through all these things. <laughs> I feel like the name of this, uh, show should be crazy white boy shit. Yeah. 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 In if parentheses. I, if I had to name Desmond's face most of the show, it, I'd call it the All Hells Gnaw. <laughs> 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 yeah, him and Lou have locked eyes more than once. They're like these motherfuckers. Lou, Black Lou just keeps doing this all all, all day. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, the yeah, here. oh man, this is and that's this is a sport, right? Yeah, these are these are guys that uh, called trial run, trial, trial riding. Yeah, they jump from thing to thing like this. But we were watching a guy do it on BMX. Oh, that is pretty crazy. No, it's really cool. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. I well, mean, it is pretty cool. I mean, why do they bring all these dumpsters into a, an arena, yeah. anyone's guess? They can just make things. So. Uh, the guy trying to get the small bank loan to set this up, he goes, no, we take other things, and they jump their <laughs> motorcycles <laughs> off it. Uh, <laughs> sir, in no way will Chase Bank give you the money that you want for this. Whoa! That's insane. A white guy could just be a toddler for as long as he likes, right? <laughs> as, really long as, you, just, as long as you... That's just the long and short of it. As long as you want to have a bunch of people, let people advertise on your onesie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you wear a onesie with a fucking... A big company yeah. on it. You, you can, can do just, whatever. You can just be a rambunctious five-year-old yeah. until you're 39. Oh, yeah. What do you think the professional <laughs> trampoline league is? You think That's all it is. Frisbee. You you're like, what the fuck? Are you serious? A docu- I didn't watch it. There's a documentary on <laughs> Ultimate Frisbee, the birth of Ultimate, called Flatball. Okay. <laughs> I want to see the trailer for it. Can we, we look, look up the trailer the, for you look up the trailer for Flatball? Because you're right. Yeah. Just a bunch you're of right. burned out fucking white dudes <laughs> going, ah, uh, well, first off, I couldn't play basketball, so I learned this sport. <laughs> Some white kids really did buy into that thing where your parents go, you can do whatever you want you if you set your mind to. He goes, fuck you want. so you're saying I can just throw a Frisbee <laughs> all day long and get paid for it. He goes, if you believe you can. <laughs> can I hacky sack for thousands of dollars? Can I keep my frog? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> can I keep my frog? <laughs> can I name it whatever I want? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Your, your father's uh, stealing money from his job. <laughs> we can, we can, uh, you can do whatever the hell you want. Is this it? Mm-hmm. What if I told you Frisbee isn't all that it seems? But it you is. might like your frisbee safe. Then turn off this documentary <laughs> this summer. People learn that frisbee this comes is, at a price. This is what it's come down to. This is the basketball. Yeah, this is. These guys are liabilities. Oh, they get it. You pressure them right in their face. Rise above. Rise above. Rise above. Rise above. Oh, <laughs> Rise above. There is nothing funnier than a bunch of white people saying we gotta rise above in a, in a chance. Also, yeah. before they're gonna play frisbee, there's nothing least civil rights about frisbee. That is wildly more offensive than anything that happened in Charlottesville. Uh, yeah. they're like, <laughs> this is them in mud fucking sweat shorts going. Rise, rise above. We gotta rise above. Rise, rise above. We gotta rise above. <laughs> These are the sports you play when you don't need it to pay for college. <laughs> <laughs> Purely leisure. Purely leisure. Purely sport. leisure sports. <laughs> <laughs> there are two, there's two scholarships a year. It's like it was like the Jim Powerman Schwartz Award, which is two thousand dollars towards your tuition. Fun, it's fun like story. shitty, it's like shitty grants. Like yeah, fifteen hundred dollars and a coupon for Barnes and Noble. Also, you get discounted Jamba Juice whenever you go in. <laughs> yeah. you're a professional frisbee. Every player. tenth Jimmy John sandwich on the house. <laughs> it's a punch card, but it's right in your phone app. Hit play. Oh my god, this is crazy. competitive, abrasive, and not surprisingly, they're all New Yorkers. Oh, dude, that's great. This is fucking NYPD officers from the 80s. They go, <laughs> yeah, you know, usually I'm in the Bronx busting fucking skulls. Uh, you know, occasionally I like to go to fucking Sheep's Meadow and fucking catch a frisbee once or twice a week, you know? Now, Pull some steam. Was, you know, am I good at it? I don't know, but I know. My friend Ron will tell you, I throw a stinger, though, huh? <laughs> I'll hit, you better hurt your hands. Some, you better stand back. Cause I'm saying. It's coming in hot. Fucking put some zip on it. Now, usually I'm beating the black teenagers <laughs> and fucking, you know, coming across the dead bodies and shit in the river. Uh, but, you know, We paint the week. subways, they fucking paint them back up. We clean them, they paint them back up. I'm like up. if Charles Bronson had an accurate throw <laughs> with a Frisbee. <laughs> you know. I'm like Chaz Bronson. I'm not going to lie, too. I was in a league with Bernie Getz. <laughs> he goes, son of a bitch could fucking wing one. 
<laughs> he threw <laughs> unconventional, he threw oh unconventional grip, but <laughs> yeah, the guy's, you know, his eyes would dart back and forth. I knew he was <laughs> capable of something. I thought it was just throwing I, it was, was, I said to myself, I go, Barney's on edge. <laughs> <laughs> this game is not tuckering him out the way we thought it would. Can I tell you this? I don't think it had anything to do with the crime on the subway. We lost to the, to the Yonkers Smashes. That's our rival squad in the Frisbee League. And I think Bernie fucking had a bad go. He had his Saturday night special on his ankle and just fucking took some guys out. Bernie gets. Jesus. Uh, hip boy. About a team. No, no. Oh, dude, these are, oh, this is Dads in the Park. That Jesus should be the name Christ. of this documentary. We have to watch this uh, documentary. Yeah, we do. Well, it all started when none of us could be wide receivers. <laughs> yeah. Now all you need is fucking to be five foot seven and be cool with CTE, and you can be a, wide, a white wide receiver in the yeah. fucking NFL. Now, this is before Tom Brady made it appropriate for white wide receivers. This is before Tom Brady was leading <laughs> tinier white men into brain problems. I'll tell you this uh, on, on a, a side note here, Dan. Mm -hmm. That's something you do have to come over to my house and watch is uh Terry Crews. You know, yeah, Terry Crews, of course. Hosted a thing the other day, last night, called Behind the Bust, the thousandth episode of Cops. <gasps> One hour long, where they do it's like a clip show, but they also bring out three cops with the perps they arrested, like pretty famous <gasps> ones. Holy shit. And they really, but the, go the guys are such like idiots now. The cops like, uh, so you know why I did that to you, right? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> like, Still not say. wearing a shirt. Yeah, he goes, he's like, why? He's like, hey, all those years ago. Terry Crews is the worst, by the way. He's like, all those years ago, huh? Why would you uh, say? Why you tell the guy that you thought that was just dirt? And you didn't know it was weed. He's like, I mean, you know, I was just trying to get away with it and whatever. Uh, <laughs> like, it's, it's like that's interesting. You think it's, yeah. it's as dumb as you think it would be as they, far as that goes. They bring out the woman and the guy that she's defending that beat her. She goes, <laughs> well. I still think he's a good guy. Just, you know, sometimes he goes sideways. <laughs> but Terry Crews, man, that guy is literally, they show him a, a teleprompter, and it's like, say whatever is on this, please. And he goes, oh, you I'm got gonna, it. I'm going to come over and watch it. Um... Let's take a break real you quick. Know. I Come mean, just back. watching that, just watching that little bit of Terry Crews right there. I mean, it's already saying, it's like, what yeah. the fuck is he doing? What is Terry? What are you doing? When's he start dancing? <laughs> he, he literally did the guy he shook his hand and he goes, oh, oh, you can't. Ah, nah, You're guys, stronger you than me. Kidding. I'll fucking rip your head off. I do, uh, <laughs> I do fucking CrossFit every day. We take a break. Yeah, let's take a break and come back. Uh, hanging out. Let's watch the end of this fucking Frisbee. Uh, sure. When we come I have back. no problem with that. Michael Che hanging out for the rest of the time. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, wow. But this is Dan Soder's favorite lead singer. Dude. Vince Neal and Molly Crew, Girls, Girls, Girls on the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95, Big J Okerson, Dan Soder. We are joined by Michael Che. That's the Tommy Lee group, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Got it. Yeah, I waited on him, and he got drunk at the restaurant I was working at. He's the one without hepatitis C. Who, Tommy? Or Vince Neal? Vince Neal. Yeah. Vince Neal's facelift, Tommy Lee's hep C, Mick Mars is dying, and... Uh, Vince Neal does have a face. His face looks terrible. Yeah, bring he up. a facelift. It's weird looking. Yeah, he looks like a battered wife. Yeah. <laughs> he, did it, he, did, he, did it on, uh, he did it on VH1. Yeah, it's uh, when you start chasing that, the face surgery is the the thing where you chase it, and you're going to look way worse than you did. You should just ride it out. Well, you know, he's one of those guys you can see, even when he was young and cool, like rock and roll looking at that time, you could see this guy. You could see his aged face was going to be in the direction of guy who shouldn't have long hair anymore. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But he just did it. Yeah. And now he, he looks like a pageant mom. <laughs> yeah. He got his, name is, his name is what's his, what's <laughs> his real last name? What's his real last name? Is it something Italian? Something Jewish. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Greenberg. <laughs> Vince, Vince Greenberg. Vince that, picture, Greenberg? that picture of him with the with the hat on, I mean, really looks like a, a kid who was like, what are you? This is not your look, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Wharton. Well, Wharton. I don't know what that is. And Mick Mars is Robert Allen Deal. Tommy Lee. That's hilarious. Tommy, no matter what he did, Tommy Lee, he could just use it. would have a great stage name still. Tommy yeah. Bass? Tommy Bass or Bass, whatever you want to go with. I mean, how is he not Tommy Bass? Wow. He played his Nikki drums. Six is Frank Carlton <laughs> Serafino Ferrana Jr. That's a lot. That sounds like an old Spanish king. Oh, so he has six last names. And none yeah. of them are Nicholas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got fucking five names to pick from. He chose Nicholas. And Mick Mars. Yeah, like Tommy Lee's. At least both these guys are Vince and Thomas. Yeah. 
That's was, weird to change the whole name. Frank. That's weird. Carlton but Seferi, Serafino Ferrana Jr. But just to give yourself another name is the weirdest thing. You know what yeah. I mean? To go in the it's like, well, my real name is Jay Okerson. He goes, what's my stage name? Steve Okerson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dan Soder, but I go by Mick Rockefeller. <laughs> yeah. I go by Lloyd Soder. <laughs> <laughs> I go by Lloyd Cantankerous. <laughs> Such a lateral move. Why do you just go with Dan Cantankerous? <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I don't it like the way it rings. It doesn't roll right. Lloyd Cantankerous. It doesn't ring true with me. Let's go to the end of that fucking Frisbee uh, trailer that we had ne never finished watching with sure. the, the New York League. Some, Some thought. Too was, much, there was too much intensity. It's in called it. a, what's it called? Flat ball. A history of ultimate Frisbee. Also, nobody ever thought that. No. <laughs> too much intensity. For there, was one, there was one girlfriend who mockingly said it to her boyfriend. <laughs> she goes, oh, what is it? Too intense? Oh, Yo. God. It's too much intensity out there. Oh, no, baby, I wasn't falling asleep. I was almost knocked out by the intensity. <laughs> it was the intensity that just oh, knocked me on my ass. I don't know how anyone could sleep after watching one of those games. It's like 20 cups of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no one in the crowd. What's this game called? Five-hour energy drink yeah. ball? Oh, my God. You guys should call it meth ball. I feel like I just did a bunch of fucking kitchen cleaning. Ultimate, meth frisbee. Ball. Ultimate Frisbee gives you wings. <laughs> it's too much. Much intensity, this New York City ultimate frisbee. Oh, I came four times, and oh, I was just in the studio. I have to wear adult diapers. <laughs> my pussy's sopping wet. It's pure danger. Oh my god! Yeah, you should call yourselves the Brooklyn Soggy Draws, because <laughs> that's what's going to be in the seats, fellas. With that kind of intensity, <laughs> the guy that's trying to sell the league. What if I told you that there's men in the stadium that want to be you, and women that want to be with you? <laughs> you guys are ultimate frisbee. I'd say, that means something. I'd say this white guy made the right choice in getting these dreadlocks. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you there's a home for you? There's like, there's no home outside of hacky sacking. <laughs> what if I told you there's Frisbee? Frisbee's for little kids. I've applied oh, to be an intern for corn for the last decade. <laughs> <laughs> Hip play. <laughs> Oh, it's really oh, an any, any sports intense that has a girl referee who yeah. seems also disinterested. <laughs> oh, Chris, man. Oh, don't worry. This is the guy. Uh, this is the guy. What was the gold guy from entertainment tonight? Who's that look like? John. Oh, uh, not. Uh, who? He looks like. I want to go who? crazy. Pat O'Brien. Yeah. Yeah. Pat O'Brien. Is he the right. one that has the tape? Steps. Yeah. I just want to get naked and uh, ultimate go frisbee nuts. with you. Let's go. Is that Someone's got to bring up to Pat O'Brien. Pat O'Brien sex tapes. Oh yeah. <laughs> ultimate frisbee. <laughs> We yeah. talked. We did that on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Bill and Bill O'Reilly had the other ones. Right? He was on the rough falafel on you or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah he wanted to suds her. <laughs> so fucking hot. He's left this on Mario Lopez's oh, voicemail, you. right? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, Slater. It's Patty. It's Patty. Uh, you have Slater. I want to suck you off. I don't care if Screech watches. Or I, want you, I want you to pin me like I went to Valley. <laughs> and if I'm about to come, if, once I'm, when I realize I'm about to come too early, I'll just pause and break the fourth wall. Beep, 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 Talk to the people at home a little bit. Beep, 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 go Bayside. <laughs> beep, 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 All right, hey Mayor, uh, can you son. talk to Lark Voorhees for me? I'm trying <laughs> to dip my dick in some chocolate for the year's end. Hey, it's Pat O'Brien's patio. <laughs> hey, it's your dirtbag friend, patio. <laughs> What's up with Jesse Spaniel? <laughs> hey, it's patio. You know me. I just uh, <laughs> smoked a pretty fat doobage. Just sitting at home. <laughs> Yeah, just watching some ultimate frisbee. It's kind of giving me a panic attack. It's too intense. Just watched myself on prime time. Feeling pretty looped up. Yeah, guess whose birthday it is today? I don't even know. I read it off a cue card. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped caring back at night. Oh, come on, baby. You don't want to fuck around tonight? Don't you want to celebrate Janice Krasinski's 85th birthday? Go get him, Janice. <laughs> he just comes with entertainment tonight <laughs> to get women hot. What if I thought oh, does it get you turned on that <laughs> Robin Wright Penn was just seen at the Ivy with Quentin Tarantino? Oh. Is there love in the air or a new movie in the works? If you put it, ah, oh, oh. put it in your mouth and I'll tell you about how he caught up on set. Ah, <laughs> oh, with Reese Witherspoon about her latest movie. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, oh. 
Yeah, no, not too. Less teeth, less teeth. <laughs> oh, and this just in. Is Jake Joe and all hearing wedding bells with Reese Witherspoon? <laughs> oh, oh, stay tuned to find out. Oh, I'm gonna tell you what movie, <laughs> what movie came out 37 years ago today. Oh, it was Jaws. It was Jaws. 37 years ago. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was Jaws. It was Jaws. Jaws. <laughs> he does look like that. By the way, again, side note, speaking of coming, I watched a double girl, a double facial scene today. Yeah. The second guy, this is how he comes. He jerked to the point of coming and then just Gives a light tap on the head of his dick and like it shoots out on the girl. Really? He, he what a fun party trick! <laughs> he like, <laughs> gives a little like like he's ashing a, like his like his papa's cigar. Yeah. And he he goes, goes, like, he's like, you can ash that for me, son. He goes, can I? And he goes, no. <laughs> it was such a weird tap top. That's, that's really funny. It was great. That's a really funny porn dick trick to have. Anyway, look at this. Look at just two boys on the floor and a girl looking like she's ready to she, punt him in the fucking face, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Crawl for it. She looks she's holding a plate of food. Uh, Crawl for it, you dog. You're a dirty pig and I'm going to piss on you. <laughs> <laughs> Baby like piss? <laughs> you were uh, You were not in the room, by the way. We did look at... Miley Cyrus taking a piss oh, drink the thing. It was great. Yeah, he it's did. maybe the best picture in all of celebrity porndom. She was drinking champagne and pissing. So good. All right, Miley. What now? Yeah, Miley took a picture. Yeah, Miley filth pictures. She took a picture of herself peeing. Well, she drank champagne. Well, someone took it. I don't. I don't think she set a timer. <laughs> and went in front of the squad. <laughs> yeah, like, it's true. Don't get nervous. Don't, don't, don't put it past her. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. <laughs> you got this. You got this. MC. Yeah. Oh, that sounds so loud, too. <laughs> oh, it sounds like you gotta make... tells me she would have a strong piss stream. I feel like she's hydrated. Yeah? That's Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, flat ball. Yeah, she's probably very hydrated. Hit play? You think she sweats cum? Really in- <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> we can't even get... Interesting, almost sort of master's thesis kind of, um, He's just issue. He's that he gets to be near a school again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They sent me in there with minimal background. It's checks. a loophole. Because, by the way, if you're registered in one state, just move to a different state. With the mustache? It's not federal. With the mustache and everything. Yeah. They just let me walk right through the doors. I, I'm no joke. I said, what am I going to do? Fuck all these kids? And they still gave me the job. They were initially disturbed as a man who only has seven front bottom teeth. I'm not going to lie. It took me until I was 29 to realize that it wasn't my skin, but hair on the top. <laughs> just blends in perfectly. It looks like he wanted to shave his mustache, but he was like, "Fuck it, I'll just blonde it." Yeah, I'm gonna go blonde. <laughs> he, did what girl, he did what girls do. He goes, "Do you dye your mustache?" He goes, "Can you tell? Yeah. Can, you, can tell. you tell there's hair there?" He goes, "I'm the, oh God. I'm the first man with a peach fuzz mustache." And she's can you like, see my fuzz?" <laughs> she's like, "If I wax, I break out and get ingrowns." <laughs> Hit play. Sports get bigger? Do they get better? Okay. A bunch of who gives a shit. Oh uh, wait, clips. was there a girl playing in a fucking what's that called? Ultimate. Oh wait, hold on. They call it ultimate. They cut frisbee out. Yeah, what's that? What's that called? What the girls wearing? A uh, uh, hijab? <laughs> or no? Yeah. That's, uh... Yeah. yeah, it's her job. So I know she's that. embarrassing her family twice. <laughs> First of all, she's out there thinking for you herself. You have brought me disrespect because you showed your face and you missed a 20-point frisbee. There better be a man calling those plays. Uh, I do not like women zigzagging up and down the field. Miss Tuka, if I could cut off your clit again, I would. <laughs> it's a frisbee, not a rock, which you will catch from oh me in the village. <laughs> it is your feminine weak wrists that make this family so disappointing. They're, week after week, coming out here to rack on the are, Knob Hill Thrashers. The, the Iranian fucking, there's one Iranian team. Oh, I was going to let you drive to think of the mistake I would have made. Hit play. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ultimate is now played by over 5 million men, women, children. No trans, though. They're very against it. <laughs> well. Ah, Japan. Of course Japan's got a thriving ultimate Frisbee culture. Wait till part two of this documentary when blacks figure it out. I don't know if you know what's happening right here. This was done uh, yet. <laughs> Jim's, Jim Brown's first sport was actually Frisbee <laughs> in Syracuse. I don't know if you know that. They changed actually the, the rules. Best at that. <laughs> football, football was a safety sport. Yeah. He's he like, goes, I'll do it. He goes, you guys didn't know Bo Jackson grew up playing ultimate Frisbee? <laughs> he goes, 
Or as he calls it, jumping over people? It was triple threat. Yeah. It was triple threat. <laughs> Dude, I love the name. Hang on, Stork. Hold on. He was uh, he was on Whammo from 75 to 81. Old Dan Stork Roddick. <laughs> uh, What's up, Stork? Uh, he goes, it smashed my urethra. So uh, <laughs> I kind of like uh, <laughs> Every day, every day I have to bite on a piece of wood and catheterize myself <laughs> my- just to have a normal life. <laughs> I like but I say, it's no life. <laughs> His mouth looks like a 70s pussy. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I know what you're asking yourself. Can you stick your finger in my mouth? That answer is, of course you can. <laughs> Try to find the clit. That's what I call my tongue. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Yeah. Where's my bottom lip? I bit it off. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. He goes, 1977, Central Park. Whammo's up against the old. <laughs> I make a diving catch. I put it behind my back, go face first right into the gravel, bit my bottom lip off, and now I'm like an old sea captain. So what do I think of Ultimate Frisbee? Fucking took my lip. That's my kiss of lip. <laughs> That's my seducing lip. Oh, wow. USA and Canada. Oh, 16, 16. Team Canada ties. Who cares? Wait, wait, simply catching a frisbee is points? To Wilson. He's gonna go up red. I think this game's a little liberal with points. It's like fucking at midnight. They're too yeah. liberal with the points. 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 Oh, he just, oh, did he catch the frisbee? Points. Narrated by Alec Baldwin. Oh. Anything you can do with your hat backwards is probably not worth doing. Yeah. It really isn't. That's it's well, a. You can hobby. bring your own shit from home. <laughs> yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like he goes. Were... Yeah, I mean, there's a uniform, but I wear a cape over mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I wear my like my fun uh, my fun glasses that I got at a fucking uh, music festival. I wear the uniform top. I just wear my own sweats. Yeah, dude, guys, I don't know. I'm an accountant. <laughs> he goes, I don't know, man. I get this is ultimate, but you know, we all have jobs. Yeah, I can't like quit my job to what tour and go play Tokyo. <laughs> Practice how many days a week? Tom, I gotta tell you, that's just gonna be a problem for me right out of the gates. <laughs> I got a family of four to feed. <laughs> and I know fastball, are we calling it now? Fastball yeah. is uh, not paying the bills right now. You just keep changing the name, it's not gonna catch up. <laughs> I don't know if it's fastball or ultimate. What Flatball. Flatball. Flat what a boring ball. sport. It's pretty bad, man. <laughs> that was, uh, like the, uh, I tried, man. I really did try to watch that Ice Cubes three on three league for Iverson. Yeah. Iverson's the only part. Iverson got fucking suspended from joke basketball. <laughs> How fucking fantastic is that? Yeah. How much is he the best athlete mm-hmm. of all times? Mm-hmm. He got suspended from fucking fake league. Ba- he got suspended from NBA jams. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Ah. NBA street. Yeah. He got suspended yeah. from NBA street. They go, usually, uh, Alan, I don't know how you're breaking these blitz rules. <laughs> uh, we have it where you can slam another player after a play, and you're still getting suspended. Uh, stealing always involves... Th- Throwing a player three quarters of the court across the. <laughs> You're room. hitting turbo then box when you do it, right? <laughs> this is so fucking funny. Yeah. Well, I think this is his last straw. I don't think he's ever going to play professional sports. Do you think again he's got to go this. the star barrier out and go to China, dude? It, uh, he already did. He did. He did. It. Well, he did uh, turkey. And it was bad, uh, dude. He like it really. It, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. He went the way of, and it was ugly. He, it had to be an ugly way down. Like he went the way of. Uh, was it like Roy Jones? We've seen yeah. that before. Roy Jones, Roy, by the way, Roy Jones is a great commentator for HBO Boxing. Yeah, what? man. Yeah, he's great to watch. He's I like him. Almost retarded. No, he's not. He he's he's he's, he's just punch from Florida. Drunk. Yeah, he's, he's punchy. Fl- he's Florida enough and punch drunky enough to be kind of fun. But his analysis is great. Yeah, he's yeah. It. Um, he's, he's him and Pauly are my favorite. Yeah, Pauly Malinaji. But he's a guy though Malinaji. that. But he's a guy though that had that thing. He was great until one day he wasn't. Yeah, Antonio Tarver's left, catching him right square in the fucking face. Well, before Antonio Tarver, yeah, Glenn Johnson was no, no. Tarver got him first. Tarver, Tarver, Tarver got him first. Tarver he made him barely go straight beat on him first time. Yeah, he could have just retired there, but no. Then he, he got back he in, got, and Tarver yeah. landed that the left. The first got time got Roy Jones barely movie. beat somebody, he should have retired this thing. Yeah. Or yeah, or give that guy a rematch and just see if you lose. You know, it's a but out, that's what happened. Not. He gave him the rematch, and then he got knocked But then he the stayed fighting. Oh, he kept fighting. That was a mistake. I mean, he's still fighting. He's fighting in Russia and shit. He's Every still now fighting. And again. He's like the, you know, 
jokes. So. The, the lady that gets too much plastic surgery is like, you should have just quit when you fucked up yeah. your nose. I don't know why you thought you now had you, to get your cheeks done too. Exactly. Or you got now you got to go full Joan Rivers, yeah. or you just got to look remember like the, a cat lady. Remember the night he won. The heavyweight title, yeah, yep. from uh, Ruiz. Ruiz. John Ruiz. And he John fucking Ruiz. played in a. He played in a, a CBA. Yeah, he played in like a basketball, basketball game, game that afternoon. Yeah, well, that's crazy. He's an insane athlete. Yeah, but it all. But one day it just goes away. Do you know what I mean? Like just yeah. overnight, just fucking. Happen. Well, that's the one. Argument. It happened to Jordan. It did happen to Jordan. That's By the time Jordan was on the Wizards, like the fucking. Ridiculous. Yeah, but he took like three years off. And no, right, but I'm saying, so, so, so uh, Iverson, same thing. Iverson came and played those three on three games. It was a bum out. Looking at him, even like out there playing, like yeah. dribbling, it just his I shot looked seen shitty. Him it was so bad. Play. Huh? I never even seen him actually. That was play. the other thing. The two weeks he did play, he went in for, and I'm not exaggerating. I want like two minutes. You know that's it, and then he would coach the rest. But that's of kind of the whole point of what it was. No, it, it show- wasn't. It was supposed to showcase these guys you wanted to remember from the nineties, and it was really sold hard on the back of and the name of Allen Iverson. Yeah, yeah he sold think, a lot of tickets. I think he's doing a disservice by how fucking not part of it. I bummed me. I, I watched the first two uh, weeks of it because I wanted to see Iverson play again. And it was so. Thank God I was going to go to the Barclay Center one. Thank God it, did. it was awful, so bad. The whole thing's stupid as shit. And even even when you hear the things that are stupid, I want it to be so good. I'm like, there's a four point shot. I'm like, well, that'll be cool though, I guess. You know, yeah. keep, and then you're like, it's not. It's and like watching realize, fucking double dare. And then you realize, jo- <laughs> you realize Jock Jam had more fucking integrity. <laughs> you're like, oh, the MTV fucking rockin jocks. Yeah, well, see, rockin jocks. I thought they should have used celebrities. I thought like I I want to see like Snoop on a team. Yeah. So, like, I thought it'd be like that. I didn't know it'd just be. Catino Mobley. I don't want to see Catino Mobley. Like, oh, yeah. I'd, I'd rather watch Ice Cube uh, play. Ruben so Patterson. Patterson. Yeah, you know. I don't want to see hey, that shit. Hey, guys, I want to see Vin Baker. What's An- uh, What's Antonio McDice up to? <laughs> yeah, Can we watch him play that. on Two I mean, Bad That's knees? literally what you're watching. Yeah, like I want to watch like Chris Brown versus... You know, like, I'd much rather watch that. Yeah, did Arvidas Sabonis' winery go under? <laughs> Is he down to fucking grab a couple boards? And by the way, you see these guys, they are hurting. Yeah. yeah. Abdul yeah. Raouf, I think like... Uh, like Mahmoud Abdul Raouf? He played a couple games and then... Yeah. He stopped playing. Jason got, like, Williams got hurt right away. Denver Nuggets right there. CTE of the body. <laughs> yeah. Jason Williams, Jason Williams, like white chocolate, quit right away, I think. He did? Oh, yeah, he got hurt like the first right game. Away, yeah. Oh, that's sad, too, because his look was really a youthful thing. Like, you, it's hard to be an old. But even when they lose, they don't it's give a to be shit. A, it's hard to be an old white chocolate. It's it's literally like you were asked to be like in a traveling museum. Yeah. yeah, they really yeah. feel that way when the game's over. They lo- they win or like they don't care. You know how they used to do that with they Cowboys. Had, some of them like they find the game's over, like because like they'll shoot one. One of them I watched the guy shot a foul shot, and then they're waiting for him to shoot the second foul shot. Everybody waiting for him, and then he shoots it, but then they go, well, "Wait, no, no, I'm sorry. Like it ended on the last shot because like, you know you play two fifty or something like that or yeah. sixty. Oh right, and it's like, oh sorry, he shot the extra foul shot. It doesn't you take it off his stats because. They got sixty on the first. It's like that's happening. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is so lame. It's like yeah. it's almost as if a rapper is running the league. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jaw rules basketball. <laughs> he goes. The music festival didn't work. I'm going to start a three on three basketball. Well, it is. That's the Nino Cube. Brown shit. Well, like, Ice, Cube, it's Ice Cube's league. Yeah, it's, it is. It, it was him, league, man. That's what he's saying. It's Ice Cube's actually. It really is. It was actually. Yeah. I thought it was. I, I didn't know who put it together. No, and he wrote a little rap for it. It's so. Please, can it, I it see the make, rap? It'll make you so upset that it's Ice Cube. is my favorite sport. Yeah. The ball goes up, the ball goes down. Scoring is going to happen all around. I'm, yeah. I'm like, how My did name is forget? Ice Blow. Yeah, how did he forget how to rap? I would love to see the video. I did not know it was Ice Cube's it's League. Ice Cube's League. Dude, that's great. That's, that's what awesome. I'm saying. It should be, you want to see, it should be celebrity driven. It should be like yeah. three. It, I performed for Curtis Blow once, and then afterwards, like, he heckled me. What? Like, I watched him perform, and I told him I was so excited to see him perform and meet him. And then I went on, he heckled me, and then I shit on him for being Curtis Blow. Oh. Where was that? Uh, somewhere in the East Village. Oh, that yeah. fucking sucks. He, unfortunately for him, I had a lot of Crush Groove reference. <laughs> <laughs> I see that movie a lot. I uh, love Crush Groove, man. Did, I you, find movie did you find Ice Cube? I first did didn't fuck Shee Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this Ice Cube. Video. Rock, rock, highly rock. Everybody want to highly rock. <laughs> oh, she's all bitchy now, huh? Shee Lee. Well, she's like a legend now, right? Isn't she like? I heard she's all like, she's like, always like, uh, like shitty shit. I, I met her when I did a Paul Rodriguez at some weird internet comedy show. She was like the house judge on. 
Really? Yeah. I, I told you my Paul Rodriguez story in Tucson, where he walked in. I was at a bar drinking. And yeah, he walked I think in, so. he was drunk, and he was pissing at the urinal next to me. And I go, Paul Rodriguez? And he goes, Down Soder? He goes, What's <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he, I didn't. I was hey, just sounds like Vince Neil tequila, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you're a part time radio DJ here, right? Uh, no, he came in. I go, Are you on a comedy tour? He goes, I'm on a drinking tour. <laughs> and he just fucking left. Oh, my God. He's he got there. my fingers, pussy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna push you into the urinal. Did your dick touch the? <laughs> did your dick touch the porcelain? Gross, right? <laughs> that oh, probably going in your pee hole. Whatever yeah. he had, now you got it. Yeah, you, can, you better wash it off. Uh, All right, his ice cubes, fucking. I did not know the big three. And by the way, in the I video, paid, in the I video, there's such little attention to this. In the video, of this he just walks out of a room that Iverson's in. Ball. Yeah. And it's just yeah. Iverson dribbling. Yeah. Big three. Come on. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm a dad now. Yeah, three. Now that's a magic number. Got the homies falling out for the whole damn summer in that four point circle with that ghost ball of purple. If you check the roster, got a three hand monster, not them killer threes. I like killer beats. I mean, you can't deny his voice is always awesome. Like yeah, I mean, he's still ice cute. Like he's still ice cute. Like he just has ball, to frown and rap like this, and I'm like, three. yeah. Got the power. But this song is so corny about what it's, what it's about. Yeah. Half court basketball. Well, on, our friend Des. That's got to be a weird thing though when you're Des writing a song. A you, when you get so old and rap that you're writing about a half court basketball. Yeah. Goes, Can't play no full court game. My back ain't built for it. Oh. My knees ain't gonna take it, motherfucker. Taking a baby ass. What's up? You got a question? This is a straight up remake of the Allen Iverson and Scarface RBK. Commercial line from like oh one oh two when yeah. Steve Francis had like the, the actual sound of it. Signi- no, like the cinematography, everything, yo. Yeah, it is. They hire the same director. It's he the, goes, it's I the still same exact it. thing, bro. By the way, I love it's all these former Rashard Lewis. You yeah. saw on there. But Jermaine that, O'Neal. You have like a Jada Kiss one too. Remember, right? Yeah, uh, not totally. Yeah. Right. What, for the AI yeah. shoes from yeah. Reebok. Yeah. yeah. The best commercial ever that when I was a kid, that the one that meant the world to everybody was when And One, the product, first came yeah. out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was just the guy, it was just, it was Iverson, White Chocolate, and like two or three other guys that just dribbled. And that's when uh, I think White Chocolate did the thing where you put the shirt, and everyone did this. You put your shirt over the ball, yeah, and, and then, around. no, bang the ball, it swings around your body and comes out. Yeah. And you go back, it was the best. Oh, this is it. Oh, these are where I checked out on the shoes. He's got a Wayne Corbett jersey on. Good job, Locke. Yeah. <laughs> Jada Kiss wearing a fucking Wayne Corbett. I would give anything to hear Jada Kiss pronounce Corbett. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, Jada, say the jersey you're wearing. He goes, that white boy. <laughs> Trebe? I know. Yo, let me get one of them Sherberts. <laughs> Sherberts. I, want Wayne. I like a Wayne Sherbert. <laughs> Uh, it's so weird seeing this video where Al Iver- Alan Iverson's all young and cool, and then like now he's like, he doesn't look old. No, doesn't look that old, but he looks like old Alan Iverson. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> he really did not like to stay in his lane. No, he's like, no, nah, you'll see, I can do it all. <laughs> like, no, you can't. You couldn't even really hit jumpers consistently. <laughs> yeah. Do it. You can't even do all in the one thing you're great at. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, let's take our last break. We'll be right back, hanging out with Michael Che. It's the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. All right, now there's now there's a whole bunch of chaos happening in the studio now because Black Luz is trying to upset me. Why? He's saying, uh, yeah, I, I've made the thing about it always suck with Iverson because for fashion he would wear a zillion other teams, yeah. like logos and yeah, man. shirts and jerseys. And, and Every black, black man. And black Lou says, uh, <laughs> yeah, where's, where's Cowboys, uh, hat? Cause he's a real big fan of Cowboys. Like, false. He would have never, he would have been running out of Philadelphia if he was an outward Cowboy. Can you look up if Alan Iverson's a Cowboys fan, Christine? And you're I'm, swearing it. I'm gonna tell you right now, he's a Cowboys fan. So I run this Instagram, it's a Cowboys fan page. Oh, So here. all I do is find celebrities that are Cowboys fans. Mm. And he is one of the number one celebrities, the Cowboys fan. Jay, this is a real moment for wow. you. 
Oh, oh, there it is. It Alan Iverson why. explains why he's a Cowboys fan. The credit the, card doesn't want to believe it. <laughs> at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter and Instagram, Snapchat, all that shit. But uh, for Twitter, if you want to see the article we're talking about on Sports Day, Alan Iverson explaining why he's a Yeah, but the explanation is going to be like, I love blue and white. No, yeah. I don't think it's going to be. Uh... Here it says, I- Iverson will always be associated with the Sixers. He's but that super into cocaine. Is that he, yeah. <laughs> I love fur coats and coke. Uh, that doesn't mean the former 11-time NBA oh, All-Star Jesus. roots Michael Rappaport interviewed him? Jesus Christ. Oh, the zebra head. Uh, yeah. the bat- Yo, let me tell you something. Uh, hey, Alan Iverson. He's uh, always yelling and Jewish and loving black stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fife Dog and Q-Tip. Huh? I was in movies <laughs> Go down. with black people. <laughs> uh, you sound more like a local furniture salesman. No, than I'm dating a black woman, and my friend got shot. <laughs> oh my uh, god! Iverson says I still. He that asks, was all Ibrahim. <laughs> uh, Rappaport asks him if he still likes uh, football, and Iverson says I still love it more than basketball. What's your favorite team in football? To Iverson responds, I'm a cowboy. Well, you know, Iverson was the number one rec- number one football player in, yeah. in the country. Quarterback. When yeah, he he's, like, he's like right. a Hall of Fame Virginia State quarterback. He yeah. has records. Uh, he said, Bubba my, Chuck. Yeah. Uh, Alan Iverson said, my mom made me a cowboy. Oh, that slut. She, she used to make ruin me. everything. Oh always. <laughs> that big dummy with her stupid hair and fucking bedazzled jerseys. That idiot <laughs> fucking ruined everything in his life. That's how big of an Eagles fan is. He'll go after oh, his favorite man. player's mother. Fuck her. See, Iverson says, she used to make me watch the Cowboys when I was like five years old. That's all the way abuse. Up the I'm a, obviously a fanatic now. My mom made me a cowboy. The people from Philadelphia had to realize that was the case. I'm not from Philadelphia. Ah, yeah. there you go. There it is, Jay. I Here's what you. happened. First off, Here's I ain't happened. got to accept nothing. Here's okay? what happened. If you're not an Eagles fan. He's a front runner, right? And so he was a fan when the Cowboys were at their peak winning a lot. So there was a lot of cheering on the TV. And his mom used to put that on the other room while she was getting dicked down by everyone in the fucking neighborhood. Yeah, making him a goddamn Cowboys you fan. Are fired up. What's wrong with her? You're fired up about this. Her. Looks like Patrice, his mom. That's so you think. Now. <laughs> Look at Patrice that. now. <laughs> Every everybody that's that doesn't have like a state team, yeah, is usually Cowboys or fucking Steelers. Cowboys. Steelers. Those are the teams that always come on TV. Yep, it, it's like states without professional football teams. Cowboys, My age Steelers. also, Cowboys there was a lot. Of, I always questioned Niners people because I'm like, it's just Joe Montana years. Yep, eighties and nineties. But, Dan, Dan, but Dan's yeah. got a lock. Chase, a Niners fan. I know, buddy. We're going to tail. We're all tailgating that but game. By the buddy. way, I like it's coming why, up soon. I like why Chay's a Niners fan. I'm a Niners fan because my brothers were huge Giants fans. I think it's so great, and, that, uh, and that just and shows you who like, Chay is. Fuck you guys. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I hope you always lose the conference championship. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you committed though, and yeah. all these years later, Chay's always still a Niners I always, fan. I always fucking loved them. And now, and now the, you just root for the uniform. Because you can't change that. What do you mean? Like when you just root for the uniform? Because that's all it is. Like it doesn't make any sense why I live here now. How much easier life would be to just enjoy the Giants? Yeah, and care about them. Something emotional happens. You can't do it. You root for that uniform. Yeah, you care about the uniform. Whoever gets in that uniform, you're like, well, he's my guy now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's now weird. in my it's life, Ron this. Darby is the greatest cornerback that ever lived. Look it's, out, Darrell Rivas. It's weird Ron Darby's like, like love. Kaepernick as much because I mean like I love Kaepernick before the protest yeah. and I feel like now if you like him you like him because of the protest which is and I'm like no man I fucking like him because he took us out of the basement not only that Jay but it's weird when I criticized him because of the kind of quarterback he was and right. then he started protesting and I'm like god damn it now, yeah, now we can't it. fucking say shit now I can't say that he doesn't have a good fucking five step drop read I gotta I gotta say he's got touch on the ball I do think he should have I, I do think we should have kept him though uh yeah well they're backup there's two backup quarterbacks in San Francisco now it's Matt Barkley and, and and Brian Hoyer, so it's, it's pretty. Oh that Jesus! That yeah, yeah. Real Matt rough. Barkley. For the record, it's one of the only players in the world. Christine could tell you how much he blows. Yeah. yeah. How do you? Oh, he's rough. Because no, he, he was Eagles he was a third for a fill-in. Yeah, yeah. And, and now he, and he came in horrible. He, now he's competing for the starting position in San Francisco. So, but everyone thought in USC they thought he was going to be the next one. And yep. Pete Carroll had him. He, he was like the last quarterback of Pete Carroll, right? At USC, I think so. Yeah. And then he, he got out. Was so bad. But I don't think he. I don't think Pete Carroll graduated him. Yeah. I think he left while he was still kind of. He played behind. Sa- Where's Sanchez? Shit. Dallas still? No. He. Where did he wind up? He was in Dallas at one point. 
Uh, but that's the crazy thing is you're right. Like, I think he kneeled during the anthem too. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Jay Sanders might as well, right? <laughs> Fuck it. I hope, uh, Iverson He goes, will this cry. get some cameras on me? <laughs> I hope Iverson doesn't cry tears all over his fucking ashy tattooed neck when, uh, Ezekiel Elliott doesn't play for six games and right, that whole thing gonna, falls apart. They're going to fight the suspension. Uh, Bears Mark Sanchez. So he's on the Bears. He's on the Bears. Who's more valuable, Zeke or, uh, uh, the quarterback? Dak? Dak. I go Dak. I go Dak. I think your running backs your knees are gonna. I, I well, I mean, Lou too. You're a big Cowboys fan. Who's more important? I think Zeke's more important. Then you think so? Yeah. The majority of their game is running the ball. Yeah, he, he is look, more important. Yeah. Dak Press. He's gonna get so exposed now. Yeah, I think he's gonna get. I think this is the year they. He's gonna him get out. so exposed. I said it right here. Oh, oh, you can't, can't wait to go home. You can't wait to go home and play your your fucking Madden. Yeah, but I'm gonna be the Niners. Is it is it out? Yeah, it came out the the download version. The down. I downloaded it. Oh shit, I gotta go get it. I still buy the disc like a dildo. Um, no, I don't like the disc. You still just have it, you download it? I download it. I and then just get rid of it when you're over it? Yeah, cause you could download it over the last one, so it's like fucking no yeah, plus no plus. It's like a, a $50 upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. I have the last year's disc, so I gotta walk in like a jerk off. Yeah, and then you just gotta like a Chinese immigrant kid <laughs> and take it back, and then they're gonna fucking get me to order Game Informer again. I'm gonna don't get like a dad in trying house. to make good on a promise. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> really, he's like, do children live here? Why is Game Informer? Do you get the Nintendo the Power way, Magazine still? You know who used to get Game Informer all the time? Nate. Of course. Like if you, you ever walk after he was married, I'm like, why do you have fucking seven if Game Informers? If you ever walk into a, a GameStop, they're gonna talk you into it. They're literally like, "Would you be? Would you pay eight cents and we'll give you twenty thousand? Uh, like, <laughs> like fucking? It's the new Columbia House it? kind of thing. Yeah, the yeah, BMG, BMG Music. There's never anything in it anywhere. There's no more. But I don't understand the why idea. You... You'd wait for those things to get when you were younger. Like in the back, they're like, "Here's codes." Here's some codes for the game. And you're like, no one does codes anymore. You can Google it. Yeah. Anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can Google I was everything. playing Friday the 13th game Googling while I was playing, like how to, like certain tricks. Which is anything shit. like, how do you iron lampshades? Yeah. Just Googling whatever in the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm just Googling. Like, what are the best hangers for well, slacks? Yeah. Remember they'd have the giant book just dedicated to a game. You'd buy like, like, you'd a buy, like the Resident book. Evil book. Yeah. You're like, oh, this is how you beat this shit. I remember in Grand Theft Auto 3. That book came cost, out. by the way, that book, 50 bucks. was like expensive. Yeah. They really charged you for it. Yeah. Because Street Fighter 2 was the first book that I was like, should I buy the book? You're like, should I buy the Tomb Raider survival guide or Madonna's sex? <laughs> <laughs> Same price. By the way, both, both excellent artwork. I just don't know should why. Should I get Jordan's or the strategy guide for <laughs> Madonna's sex? I'd really like to see a naked Big Daddy Kane. <laughs> <laughs> should I see Big Daddy Kane's dick or learn where the secret level is? You know what I'm making? Listen to the or? Big Daddy Kane's dick. Yeah. I want to Big Dick had a flat top. You ain't going to see that outside of fucking 82 porn. You're like, I was going to learn how to Young beat Shawn Ca- Michaels. Learn how to beat Castlevania 4, Castlevania 4, or see Big Daddy. <laughs> is that a vagina? Yeah, Resident Evil 2. That looks like a shitty band flyer. Don't look up Resident Evil 2. Look up Big Daddy Kane's dick. <laughs> Jesus. Wrong Christine. direction. You are so racist. Um, I can't believe you still have the disc, though, because that's the best part about having a PlayStation. It just downloads... Right on. So yeah. you I still, you know what? I, I'm going to sound like a like a jerk off who goes, "No, nah, there's something about cracking open the thing on your vinyl record yeah, and no. taking the record out." But there is still something for me about getting the game open, like, like the box, opening it. Lou, I know there's no reason. For Black Lou no shaking reason. his head. Yeah. I'm not on board. No, it's fucking annoying because you try to open it. You got the little. St- it's like the old C- the old CD cases. Yeah, well, where you try to pull that sticker off the top. Yeah. Well, can I just download it tonight? Uh, or can you not now? I think you had to pre-order it before today. Because it comes out on Friday. This guy right on the corner, because we work literally across the street from each other. Yeah. And uh, there's guys that out there that still sell their mixtape, like the CD. Oh, we bought one. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? Yeah. Like, what? How do I don't know how the fuck to play this. Well, I'll tell you what Jay and I did, is we bought a mixtape and played it on this show. Oh, really? I, yeah. Honestly, mo- it was between that, we were going to buy that thing, or Dan was going to fight the guy. Very, oh. the most aggressive I've ever seen Dan Soto. Really? Why? Yeah. I just wouldn't shut up. What was I don't he know, he just came at? with the guy. It was something, it, he was yelling at me. But it got, it got, that's no, it got, a hard it got a thing, sell, though. It got a thing, no, it was one of those, uh, we didn't buy it, we were like, nah, we're good, we're talking, and we are like, nah, we're okay, man. And then, I think he kind of threw out like a racist thing, and Dan wanted the world to know he was not, in fact, racist. No, that wasn't oh, at all. that's right. 
No, it wasn't it at all. Over so we Times walked Square. By, Did you was, mention that was, you grew up in the black part of Denver? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he the said, whitest city in the he world. He said something like about that. He's like, oh, bro, black man. And you're like, it has nothing to do with that, man. Like, no, oh, what, you, but it was when we went back and bought it. And it was when it was before we bought it because he kept being like, uh, he was like, where do you live? I was like, a story. And then he just started barking at me about Queens. Oh, and he's yeah. like, you shouldn't live. He's like, you don't know nothing about Queens. You don't know anything about Queens. I go, I never fucking said that I did. Jesus. Back the fuck off me. And he was like, all right, man. Then he yelled, all yeah, music yeah, matters. That? She, What's that? He yelled, all, all music mu- matters. All music matters. <laughs> I can be a country guy and stand here. First Amendment right, man. <laughs> so what? I love George Strait. <laughs> you got one of his CDs? <laughs> Why are you trying to sell me Crash Bandicoot for fucking PlayStation 1? That was one of the <laughs> is that his music right here? Is it produced by Teddy Riley? <laughs> I think Daddy can't. Oh, I got a job done. I I'll work. I get the job done. Yeah, I'll but it work. is impressive. Those guys still try to sell. It's like selling tapes. I'll work. Yeah, like what the I'll fuck work. am I supposed to do this? Baby. Yeah. It's, it's pointless. I don't even have a CD player you on should, my computer. Yeah, you should have a either anymore. thumb drives. You should give out mixed thumb drives. Like, but hey, also, to just uh, give someone, like, uh, there's artists no that I listen. know and I'm fans of and I won't buy their album. You have to cold sell me music that I can't even hear right now. They're not even playing it. Yeah. They're just like, hey, buy this disc, trust me. Yeah. I know, they're like, they're like, you know, they're like, if you like hip hop in general, you'll love this. Yeah. That's not how they're it works. like, hey man, do you like, uh, do you like instruments? You go, okay, <laughs> keep going. Do you like instruments that are played in a melodic or rhythmic yeah. beat? How about rhythmic mm-hmm. sounds with a harmony and melody? Do you like old songs that are oh, sampled? Maybe yeah. sped up. Have I got something for you? Yeah. Oh, well, let me tell you about me. I'm a guy that, if you don't buy this, I'm going to call you a racist. Come yeah. here. You can trust me. I'm wearing an oversized Mitchell and S hat. <laughs> All I need. <laughs> you can trust me. I'm the guy you confuse for the tour guide for the Double Decker bus. Uh, look, sure. Two of my teeth are gold and not good gold. But still. Yeah. Easter on, egg man. chocolate gold. <laughs> it's, I love it's, it. going, it's going, it's going, it's like knocked around, like dented gold. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah, it looks like the side. It's one of those things where you, it's, there's no way it's going to work out. No, man. There's no way it's going to work there's out. There's no way they're going to have that next concert and it's just a bunch of tourists from yeah. the streets of Times Square. Oh, I know this guy. <laughs> I, I fucking know this guy. It's it's a bunch of white tourists. This guy. I know this guy. This is Wiz Kid. He's from the street. He's out there on the 42nd with the, I took uh, a picture with him in a Spider Man. I remember him because he told me my wife had a fat ass. I gave him a knuckle pound in front of my son, and I felt like a cool guy. <laughs> oh, like I love cool him. Guy. We bought him. Uh, he's, we bought his album. He's so good. He raps about the streets coming from Yonkers. <laughs> it's from Astoria. Astoria. <laughs> he says no one knows about Queens like he does. And he did have lots of information about Queens indeed. He did. He told us where to go to the museum. Where to get shaved ice and Corona? There's a museum of television. Uh, yeah, it, that's fucking great. But yeah, I remember that because the first go around, he accused us of us being racist, and we laughed it off. Then the second go around, he was like, "You don't know anything about Queens." I was like, "I never said I did. I, you asked me where I lived. That was it." And then I answered fired. him. There's also not a lot to know about Queens. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty, pretty cut and dry. Yeah, it's There's pretty, LaGuardia. Uh, World's Fair. Uh, City Field. <laughs> City Field. Yeah, it's not, seven trains not running. We all know. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, uh, the Costanzas live there. Not a lot of mystery. Yeah. It's Take not the a Cosby whole lot. show there, maybe. Sesame Street's around there. Yeah, I used to love that weekend update joke with Colin Quinn when he was talking about John Rocker. And he goes, and apparently he has ridden the seven train <laughs> after he said those comments. <laughs> Will Ferrell is John Rocker is one of the funniest things that people forget about. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, he might be the all-time greatest update guest. Yeah, just coming on. Uh, Mike, do you have any dates you want to plug? Uh, oh, I'll be at um, uh, Cobb's in San Francisco Ooh. in October. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I got like two two days there. Four yeah. Days. And then, oh, and then uh, um, in, in Phoenix. I'm in Phoenix. Just speak of Arizona. Yeah. Phoenix is in Arizona. I used to live there. Okay, yeah. Ugh. I'm in Arizona, uh, uh, I think September 17th that weekend. Okay. At the, uh, stand Up Live? Uh, yeah, Stand Up Live in Arizona. So stay I was just there. It's is great. great? You're going to love yeah? it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it too hot to fucking be there? When are you going to be there? September. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. I was I was there like three weeks ago in the dead of like the heat, and it's fine. Ah, dry heat, you're fine. Okay, it's a dry heat. You get it's only a couple days. This yeah. Thursday, I mean, look, you definitely stay inside more than you'd like to. Oh, sure. I'm gonna meet a cougar. 
Yeah. Keep me warm. Some fake tits and some wrinkled skin. Yeah, some of that leathery yeah. skin. Ah, oh, it's like sleeping on a purse. <laughs> uh, sleeping uh, on a fake purse. <laughs> sleeping on a fake part of bootleg purse. You can tell I'm, you can tell I'm a knockoff because the stitching's different. She goes, I ran away from a severe amount of debt. <laughs> um, uh, I was gonna say Che thinks on Twitter, but you're off that. I'm off Twitter and I'm off Instagram. Good for you. Good for you. Being a human I got being. Facebook. The only reason why I still have Facebook is because I'm, uh, I'm, it's tied up to my Spotify and I don't want to make new playlists. <laughs> <laughs> I can't delete it. <laughs> ah, that's fucking great. Also, you can check out the summer edition of Weekend Update on NBC. Big J is going to be in Omaha this Thursday through Saturday at the Funny Bone. And then you can see him at the House of Comedy in Minneapolis Thursday, September 7th through Saturday, September 9th. Go to BigJComedy.com for tickets. And, of course, follow us at the Bonfire SXM Twitter, Instagram. And, and you know... Dan's new half hour special as part of the stand ups is available on Netflix right now as we speak. So stop listening to this and go watch that. Cleveland Campers, you can catch him performing at the Accidental Comedy Festival at the end of August. That is again Cleveland, Ohio, uh, as we understand the new home of a one Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, that's, right, that's, what, they're, that's what they're reporting. Isaiah Thomas could be a cab. Get your tickets, uh, at accidentalcomedy.com to see Dan out there in Cleveland. Uh, Jake, thank you so much for hanging yeah, out with us. Dude, thank, thank you for inviting me. You, Always fun. Thanks yeah. for being here, uh, and we'll catch you all motherfuckers tomorrow. Bye! Crackle, crackle.